everybody. Mike Trout just signed 12 years, $430 million to stay with the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Alex, this is a big day. How are you feeling about it, buddy? Woo! Oh, man. Guys, what do you think about that over there? It's good, guys. That's a good start. <laughs> So Cody has his own creative meeting in the morning that he thinks, you know what, this is going to crush. Oh, that's pretty good. That was pretty he good. Actually, he actually does. He's, he's got good comedic senses. He does. Co he Cody, does. Uh, like Arnold said, uh, you, you're a funny guy. That's why I'm going to kill you last. Who's, <laughs> so, wait, who's so, singing? Is this Train? We're, we're live. Is this train, oh, so you guys have audio. You, can't, you don't hear oh, anything? Oh, I hear nothing. Oh, okay. So uh -oh. Roxy can't hear anything. Oh. Is it not turned up? I, don't know. I have no Let's idea. Oh, I heard Toy Story. There we go. Oh, we are Just live. the levels. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Rox. How are you? Nice to see you. I'm uh, still tweeting. I know. <gasps> you look like Neo today. I told you how much I like your jacket. Yeah, it's pretty I awesome. Like it. I like Christian's way of saying it. I like your jacket. That's what that's called, right? That's what that is, right? Men I don't tell. know anything about women's clothes. Well, it was a <laughs> duster. It, it was skinny, and it was, it I was long, like, I see a thin, shawl, like, what a is sweater it? shirt. It's pretty awesome. It's it looks like awesome. a Jedi like robe it. meets Matrix, yeah. I like it so much. Yeah, thank you. I know you're very excited. I know that you should be. Because you expect oh, in 12 I, years. I know. Well, well, do, but don't you think 12 years is too much? I get no, he's it younger. Now. How old is he? 24. Oh. No, he's a little older than that. He's like 27. Let's look this what up. What are you guys I talking think he about? Baseball. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so speaking of Sith, Dorina's back. Uh, <laughs> hello, Dorina. How are Hi. you? Nice to see you. I missed you guys nice to last week. Yeah, we I'm so happy to be here with my friends and my acquaintance, Josh McCuga. Hey. <laughs> we missed you all. Unreal. Yeah. We missed you also, <laughs> but it was good that you were out. I'll tell you why, because we discovered a new star oh, while you were Oh, yes, out. I heard. She's yeah. awesome. She's awesome. Kate I've Mulligan. never met her before, but she, I liked her immediately. She's fantastic. And um, and she'll be around a lot more. Because, I, like I said, I wanted to figure out a way. Did you ever get a chance to perform with, with Kate uh, McCuga? No. No. Hun, you <laughs> past your time. Uh, before your time. Yeah. Excuse me. And uh, anyway, so it's good to have her kind of in the fray now. So we had a lot of fun yesterday. It's some good conversations. And, uh, yeah, what happened? I saw oh. it. I saw it. What'd you see? Saw you saw it. the video I was talking I about? <laughs> All right, we'll oh, talk about that in a second. Oh, Did you see the video, oh, too? Yeah, 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 so yeah. Maybe only Dorina saw it. Because okay, 900 gonna, people tweeted, tweeted at us. Have you seen this? Have well, seen this? And we'll, get, we'll get into that, too. We have, we have updates on Stu. We have updates on Stu. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've yeah. heard one of our fans is friends with Stu. Uh, he was the one who sent it to yeah. us. So we're gonna, we have some updates with Stu. Uh, John Roca is here. Hello, Jonathan Roca. Hello. Just sitting in for Mark Riley. Has anyone ever called you Jonathan? No. No. I was not even named Jonathan. It's just John. Yeah, well, I changed it when oh. I was nine years old from what it was originally to John. So, yeah. What were you originally, can you say? Mm, no. You don't want to say? Oh. That's only for. So, your real name isn't John. No, it is. Uh, your birth name wasn't John. Was not. No. I see. Okay. Was, was it Juan? Was it Jonathan? <laughs> Very good, Josh. <laughs> it was Juan. <laughs> you Juanito Roca. Uh, no, was no. it Roca? Uh, yeah, well, Roca yeah. Roca? Well, it was no, no. Rocha. <laughs> Rocha Roca? It, it was Rocha, Roca. but I changed the pronunciation in high school because I kept getting bullied, calling people calling me Roach, yeah. and then beating me up. So oh. I had to change it so to something more So you were something, something Rocha. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping he was going to play a Rose Compoyo. I really was hoping he was going to play uh, <laughs> is that is this true? You were something Rocha? Yeah. And now you're John Roca. John Stephen Roca. Yeah, I changed it at nine years old because I was a big Travolta fan. Did you, oh. did you, so you, you want to hit it? And then your parents were cool with it? My parents nine. were cool with it. What am I missing? His, what, his, what about Travolta? his first name was John. Kaka. Oh. Yeah. His What's last that? name was Rocha. Kaka Rocha. Rocha. <laughs> Come on. He's one of the bullies see, that beat him up. See, yeah. See. No, it's, Look at it's, it's, that's ironic. You're so you know, happy about it. It was a layup. He's not going to tell us his first name. He's I mean, Makuga absolutely was that bully in school, no yeah. doubt about it. And yeah. I was as well, so I connect I to you on that yeah, line. I would beat him up. I'm not, I was never a violent person. I was never a fighter. You just picked but yeah. His last name's Rocha. I'd call him Roach. It's a sick last name. I went to high school with a dude named Roach. Well, Jeff Roach. We called him Roach. What kind of Roach are we talking about here? Roach, like papping off a Roach in the back of a car, or Roach you want to step on with your foot? No, like Roach, like let's. It get depends on what kind of person uh, John right, was. Right. Yeah. You know, I if was... he was a cool, chill guy, then it's this kind of Roach, and if he's not, you want to step on let him. Let me stop you right there. Yeah. You it was know the John second. Roca. Yeah, it was, was the second. John Roca a, a chill guy? <laughs> yes. Back Were then, you really? Oh, you that's why I got yeah. beat up all the time. And then you stopped being. And chill. then I, I, I got that. angry at fifteen, and did you well, you didn't help trying to kill the world. You didn't help yourself with that mustache, though. No, my God, that porn star that it was like a little thin, little mustache. I could grow that thing out, but I mean, wait, what mustache? It's a child predator mustache. He's got this little thin. I don't know where. That's why I don't grow facial hair out. It's a DTM, as they call it, a dirty teen mustache. Yeah, yeah. In high school, there was like a DL team, dirty Latino teen mustache. Well, you can call it DTM because every Italian man in Pittsburgh had that same mustache. 
was all a, of my cousins is hideous. There was a picture from I, high school. High school. It was, yeah, and yeah, he, po- I don't know where you posted it, but uh, I think it was on a Throwback Thursday. Or whatever it was, and it was just like this little mustache, and I was just like, well, if anybody. <laughs> Ever said? Well, wait a minute. Why is Roker the white guy on the on the panel? Why is he talking? He's, Roker's not white. Look at that picture. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's very true. It's been sort of, whitening my skin ever since. It's very funny. Uh, anyway, everybody's in. Everybody's in the room. It's uh, Darina, Roxy, Makuga, and John Roca are here as well as we have Alex and Cody in the booth. And yeah, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you find yourself quoting the sound bites by accident? Yeah, I said a uh, nine the other day to my wife, and she was like, "What the f- what?" <laughs> <laughs> do it all I was the like, time. I'm sorry. I do it all the time. Someone said it the other day. Like I was talking like a, a friend, one of my daughter's uh, friend's parents. And they were like, yeah, nine. And in my head, I'm going, eight, mm-hmm. eight, yeah. nine. I'm it's like, the number one one nine? that I do. Yeah. Anytime I hear either of those numbers. Yeah. We were at Every day. We were at this, the show it in Seattle. Like me. I thought it was a sound bite. Oh, Dorina like, was am there. I listening to myself? Hold on. I'm gonna, we were at the show in Seattle. Dorina oh, yeah. was there, my best friend. Yeah. Long time acquaintance. Acquaintance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and they were like, they were, we got Q&A from the, question, from the crowd, and they were just like, do you want some cookies? And I said, yeah. Like, I was just doing quotes <laughs> back to them yeah. from Collider Live. Yeah. Ellis, was, Ellis was like, great set of questions. Yeah. 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 Can we legitimately address this? Like, your acquaintance Oh, thing? yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I, first of all, I, I love that you're telling this story wrong because I'm not here. Wait. Well, before, uh, before we... There, before we you weren't. Well, wait, before Mental, we do that. Physically, you were there. Yeah. Mentally... You weren't. Right. Well, well, listen, before, before we do that, so huh? I want to uh, let's we'll get, get it. let's get into the whole trip because I want I definitely wanted to get to the acquaintance thing. But let's start let's start off where we get to. First of all, you did a panel and you knew that you were going to do this panel for a while, mm-hmm. and then it just happened that you found out that that, that Makuga and Ken and then Ellis yes. would be there. So like, well, of course, let's get together, let's hang out. Yeah. And you put Ellis and Ken yeah. on the panel because you, you know them pretty well. They talk yes. about scores and soundtracks. Yes. Fair. Okay, yes. and then Makuga did not get the invite because no. you hate him. Yes, right. Mm-hmm. That's no, basically what, what, what happened. What happened? No, no. What Tell happened was is that here's the thing. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I might be siding with Christian on this. Here's one. Yes, what but. happened is that I've known. Uh, I think we maybe all met around the same time years ago, mm-hmm. but I've actually hung out with Ken and Mark several times right. mm-hmm. outside of the studio. Quite a lot, right? right. I hung out with Josh maybe what. At Comic Con mm-hmm. and in Seattle, so yeah, well, and at Mark Riley's house. Like, yeah, exactly. A few weeks ago. Yeah, a few weeks ago. After a I had already decided. Times. Yeah, exactly. So sure. I don't like to call everyone my best friend. You like you're a friend, but I'm still getting to know you. Like I'm still mm. checking you out. I'm like I don't know. Josh seems cool and sweet. Could have I, bullied people when he was in school. Exactly. Right right, right. 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 But and as. And, <laughs> Kaka, yeah, no more. Yeah. No, good... more. <laughs> no more. No more. Exactly. Mas. No mas. Uh, but anyways, my whole point is that I'm not going to ask somebody that's sort of my friend for a favor because I feel bad. I wasn't going to ask. Like, I would have asked you. I wouldn't have asked Roxy. Roxy's yeah, like, kind of on the same level as Josh. You guys are my friends, but I, but we're not super close. Right? right? Is that not true? Yeah, no. I would, I would. Right. <laughs> yeah. How would you feel about that? I mean, we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is this, is this for the panel or just to hang out? <laughs> Just, no, it's just I'm not gonna ask people favors if I'm not super close to them. But right. is this for the panel? Oh, so you're saying, so you're saying oh. because you don't feel that you're close enough to ask them to Exactly, because it's yet. like a favor. Wait, but why it's, is it's it a, a favor? It's a, it's a, it's a professional thing. Yeah. Well, but why a, is favor it a favor is picking one of them. Because I'm not paying you to be on this panel. Right. You're yeah. just showing up and you're giving me your time. You're okay asking exactly. your friends to, to do that, but yeah, not exactly. people. Right, because you don't know if you feel that, that maybe that they'll they'll say, oh, man, why yeah. am I doing this? And also, so it's, you know, so it's, it's an insecurity thing. And also, no, it's it's not. It's it's being nice to people. Oh, okay. Like that's it's a respectful Sometimes thing. I'm okay. nice. And also, you know, it's not about just you, Josh. I don't think Roxy agrees. Oh, oh, yeah. Rox, <laughs> I don't Rox, feel this way. Rox, please. Uh, yeah, you know, for like we have people on this show all the time. Christian's been very vocal about it. It's not like it's a huge budget on this show. So anytime we ask, so, anytime somebody wants to come on the show, if they're here for free, it's a favor. Yeah, I don't look at it that way. I look at it as an opportunity. Well, well, Doesn't it feel sh- real, real quick? Hold that thought. Show, hold that though. thought. Doesn't it yeah. feel like like Raw and SmackDown? We have two of the biggest stars like on the same show for the, for the because yeah. it, it never happens. It's, it never happens, and because you see, and now I'm just going to step back and watch a championship match. So <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. Well, for, for, but this is also a show. Like mine was like a crappy panel. Like that's, well, that's different. A, right? Way to have confidence yeah. on yeah. that. Yeah. Wait, wait, this is so. It's confusing. actually re- actually the panel turned out really well. But also but. like Josh is there. 
with Ken and Mark, and you're like, I'm taking them. You can't come. I just hang by yourself. Like, what's he gonna do? No, and that was also he was wrong. He, you said that you said stuff wrong yesterday because I told you if you want to come, I'll get you a pass. And I told you, you can't be on the panel. And you're like, I'm not in the photo anymore, so I'm not coming. Ooh, so I wasn't gonna beg. I don't think it sounded like that at all. Yes, that's exactly what, what happened. Because we had a sober conversation. I was not there, but this is I was not there, but this is the only reason, the only reason that I would say that sounds believable because <laughs> last week when uh, for for there was there was a for you had come in early to be on the show and you, you know you moved your stuff around and I got it, but like we had a full pack crowd and I was like, "Well, why don't we just have Makuga on the second hour and we'll have Brett on the first. And you're like, that forget it, I'm not doing it then. And and you were you were But do you agree that happened? I agree that happened. Okay, so right. you, you can understand why. No, I would but think he this. agrees it happened. So but, that, but that's true. He doesn't yeah. agree that this he, happened. Let All let right, me, so let me you're tell right you the conversation. <laughs> Did me, I not me. offer you to get a badge to get you into the con- the convention that you're day? You're like you said. You said to me. You said I could. Although probably, we're not friends. No, hold on. Yeah, let, me hear, let me hear. Let me hear. You said I said those words. We're not friends. So why are you talking to me? And let me just preface this by Thursday night in Seattle, we landed about ten. Darina had been drinking. Wednesday. Wednesday. Darina had been drinking and smoking, and so she was way. More bombed than any of us on thir- on Wednesday I'm, night. I'm gonna Ellis in a good way. You're, you're vibrating. You're, but you're, in a good you're way. You're Ellising. So, uh, I she so she so she, we sit at the table and she just hands out the badges to Ken and Mark <laughs> and I'm sitting there like and I'm like oh I I thought you said you could get me a badge and you're like oh no you, no this didn't happen no nope. it did happen no just, I said I can get I call Ken can we get Ken on the line I'm, no yeah, yeah. please get yes, Ken on the line we can get Ken. Ken you're saying Ken was there during this yes. Ken was there right. so was Ken Mark. Ellis yeah please get well Ellis wasn't paying attention get, yeah get that's why I said no <laughs> Ellis you can, yeah, yeah Ellis has no idea and she said I could probably get you a badge he still thinks Max von Sydow's dead I said she said I could probably try and get you a badge and I said if it's if it's too much trouble don't worry about it and that was the end of the conversation meanwhile the panel was all organized. And Josh is was stressing me out the day before my panel during during this whole conversation. Ooh, ooh, a yeah. shitty panel, as yeah. she called it. Ooh. That's she called it. That's so he, he's not calling it shit. All right. Wait, right. why was he stressing you out? No, no, I'm just I'm just giving. Kidding. Yeah. All right. Oh. So so what 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 is on what we're saying on the table? It's a he said he said she said at the moment, <laughs> yeah. and so Josh is saying that he very nicely was like, hey, listen, I want to be part of this thing. And you she, didn't say that. No, I th- I made a joke that said it's great to be here in Seattle where my two friends get to be on the panel <laughs> right. and I'll just twiddle my thumbs in the hotel room. And, you, and you're saying you offered a badge, yeah. and you're saying that never happened. She said, "Well, in all no, fairness she, to Darina, if you guys were closer, she would be able to read Josh's language, which means put me on the panel." Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't know him as well. I didn't want to be like, yes, you're coming on my panel. I'm going to force you to do a show, a panel before your guys' comedy show. But you can understand though, why he's there and the, and the two uh, the two people he's with. Yeah. He Awkward. just puts them in an And you know position. what's the other yeah. thing, too? I didn't even have your phone number. I literally got your phone number when? Like two days ago? No, you got it before Seattle. Also, <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got it. In like, two days she got one. One. like two days before Seattle. <laughs> no, you got she a Collider up, Live. She gave up on that one. She, no. she ducked it. Yeah. So the no. Collider Live. Hold on. The Collider Live. I'll, I can see the text message. Okay. Date. Okay. I'll give it to you. Okay. You know what? Um, you know what's, got, a, you know what's funny, so too, about how he says that we're friends? Yeah. He doesn't follow me on social media, and I do. What? That, <laughs> that, is a, that is a Josh move. Yeah. I don't really yeah. follow people. Yeah. Friday, March 8th, I got Darina's number. So that would be the Friday before. Friday, March 8th. Eighth. 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 Correct. Yeah, nice. Eighth. Well can, done. Cody, can, that, can somebody work on getting Ken on the phone? I yeah, I reached out to him. He's not available right now. Son of a bitch. Sorry. I guess we could try Ellis. Nah. Uh, so I got he her, doesn't care. I got her number the Friday he, before. He, yeah. And I made a joke on Collider Live that Friday that you weren't here and I was hosting and Darina was here. Uh, I said, I love your flyer for your panel. It's amazing. <laughs> It's amazing that I my even, name got left off of it. Even, <laughs> even if you watch that episode, I even offered to change the the picture so I would add you to the panel, and no, you said no. I was just I was messing uh, with here. you right. to, ass- to assume. Did you not care at that point, or were you like a little hurt? Who me? Yeah. Oh no! I, here's the funny thing is, were you were, are you were you actually hurt, hurt in general? No, I don't get hurt. So then why are we wow, talking wait about this? I, be, I, I believe I believe that I believe that you might not have been hurt for that one, but to say you don't get hurt, come on. Oh, well, yeah, we've I mean, been there before. Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, I'm just saying on this like, show, on, on this st- show. Um, stuff like this. <laughs> on this, not I believe get hurt. you. If you tell yeah, if you wait, tell wait, me not, I was just I, messing around. Can I say yeah. where I'm I'm getting hung up? I think too. Yes. Is that it? 
Dorita, when you were when you were justifying the statement, you said he's not my best friend. I don't go throwing that around, but you didn't say he was a friend. <laughs> <laughs> you said he's an acquaintance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like not the... saying Josh is your best friend or that I am your best friend. Yeah. But a friend. It's just him. Yeah. It's just him. I feel like I've I'm, met I, him. I know him. <laughs> I feel like I'm Samuel Tully and I just walked in to the to the wall and John Snow is like, hey Sam, and Dorita is like, you're not going to be on the wall with me no, ever. She, no, We're she took friends. her boot and kicked you I off the wall. Right off the wall. I just said you had kind of yeah, what I should have to like earn my keep. What yeah. after going on with these nine hour <laughs> talk? No, but the honest, however, quite... however, I have to say, nine? after the panel <laughs> and after the comedy show, which you guys did a good, a really good job, um, we went now out she's your friend. and then, and no, and he brought us pizza. And I was oh, like, yeah, okay, there you go. Now you are, you brought me pizza so and it's delicious. So he's so officially a friend yeah, now. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Now, do you want, do you want yeah. that friendship, Because Josh? of the pizza. Oh, okay, look at this. Friends. Oh, 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 and we worked it out. I have so we many more questions, out. but I feel like that's a good button. That's it. That's yeah. All right, well, speaking of buttons. <laughs> Real quick, yes, though. Go ahead. How how intoxicated were you on Thursday, and could you judge how good that pizza was? Because I said yes, it was oh, yeah. delicious. Well, we, yeah, yeah. But wait, but you remember that wasn't that wasn't the thing. Mm -mm. We didn't say that. You didn't I think, said you don't think what? her palate, her pizza palate, is good enough At, to judge. When she, you were both drunk, I wasn't. But that it's drunk. not just that though. It's from if she bit. she does the runs, and this is gonna this is, has nothing to do with being Mexican, but the mm -hmm. fact that she loves she are you being racist? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but you love tacos. Is that a truth? Yeah, I said that yesterday. Right. She does. She does. She does these taco runs. Yeah. Who does it? Well, but what I'm saying is that's your like when Dorina says saying. when Dorina says I know the best taco place yeah. ever yeah. I'm gonna go there yeah. and I'm gonna be expecting the best one ever because mm -hmm. that's what she does. What does Dorina no, know about pizza? That's what I'm saying. I don't know no. why because I'm <laughs> because I'm not Italian or something. No, mean? not at all. Because no, because you you're a taco you, girl. You've been, no, 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 not even that. You how long? What is how long have you lived? <laughs> wait a minute. How long have you I'm lived? A little in, scared now. Don't be scared. How long have you lived in the East Coast? What what is, is that I, the I, only I, time? Is that the only place where there's pizza? I grew like. I'm asking yeah. you a question. How in long Italy you, How too. long have you lived in the East Coast? <laughs> Six months. You don't count. Uh, how why long, how, why is the East Coast? <laughs> up, that's not Italy. You just don't understand. It's close that. enough. It's, it's closer no. by three thousand miles. Listen, did you? How long did you live in the East Coast? In, uh, in the city? Twenty-four years. Yes. So <laughs> I'm going to listen to Josh McCoogan when it comes to pizza. But here's, here's the, the thing, thing. Doreen. I'll make you feel better though. He wouldn't listen to me when it comes to pizza no. or tacos. He doesn't like cheese. So he's not listening to me about any kind of food. Doesn't like cheese. Yeah. You don't like cheese. No. She hates cheese. She Why? would fight cheese on a... Yeah. If it you was just a, not like the consistency? I don't know if pizza's the right choice. Pizza's actually Chinese. So what? using that as an Italian... Yeah. The, the Chinese... This is, I didn't use this is my Paul, least as a kind favorite... Of Hold on. Stop for a second. Stop for a second. Who uses it as Italian? I'm just, no, I'm saying the East Coast thing, you, you kind of correlate it with Italian. No, Italians I, I said connect it. with the pizza stuff. Oh, I, you did during... I, okay. Actually, I, the, I said you live in the East Coast. You could be you could be whatever the fuck you are. There's actually great Chinese food in Mexicali where I grew up. No, this is my least favorite quality of John Rocco's. To throw in, it's actually Chinese. Why? What do you? Why is that? Relevant? Oh, I thought we were saying about the pizza. But like, uh, subscribing are, are it to only Italians, as I'm saying, it was. But what do you I mean? Like it's actually Chinese. Like, what do you mean with this conversation? He's saying it originated. Yeah, it's Chinese. Chinese. That's it. <laughs> are you, yeah, are you yeah, saying Mike that? Trout. <laughs> it adds. Why are you Mike saying Trout. that? Twelve years, four hundred thirty. Christian, this is why I say there are too many people in the room. There are too many people in the room. No, I'll leave. I'll leave. No, 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 no. I'll leave. I have no problem. Stop. Stop. Oh, you can't take it. A little bit because I made fun of your Chinese. I'm not leaving because of you. Oh. Here comes here comes 15 year old Roach. He's really throwing it Suck in my there. pussy, John. <laughs> <laughs> Suck my pussy. All right, he's back All in my right. good graces. All right, <laughs> <laughs> All right, easy. All right. No, I only brought it up as a tidbit. I'm sorry if it was. It's, 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 no, I just brought I, it up as an intellectual tidbit. Did I saw you it. know that actually? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, this is a, a Chinese. The pizza. actually, Christian, it, it, it was now my my good friend. Uh, and did you also know that Marco Polo brought the noodles to Italy from China? <laughs> That's right. That's right. The noodles oh, are actually uh, tonight on John Roca talks history. <laughs> the point of this conversation was that, but you still say you were that hammer. It was, was good. really good. Okay, take yeah, it easy. It was Really good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was so good that I li I think right. I told Josh I love you that night. Fine. Yeah. And, and I like what well, I hope pizza. Well, good. So that you were more than friends at that point. Yeah. Well, good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Best yeah. 
friends. Right. Yeah, at that point, <laughs> you, we were best You friends. had something new? Well, just speaking of getting butthurt over things, yes. uh, oh my God, was the internet so cruel to me after yesterday's show. Have you guys been looking at I don't at look this? at the comments, no. No, tweets, oh. everything. I have never, you fascist bitch, you're trying <laughs> to control all wow. of speech. <laughs> like, yesterday, so after was, yesterday's conversation. Well, you know what? Wow. Here's the thing, though. I, it was unreal. And I, you know, <laughs> Nine. Well, I, here's the one thing I want to do, though. I actually want to save this conversation, and I'll tell you why. Okay. Because um, I would like to bring on Kate for this conversation as well to for a rehash of all of it, too, and I'd like to have you on. And I think that, uh, because Kate obviously was a former comedian as well, and I'd like to have all, and what I, what, and you didn't say this at all yesterday, and, and, and a lot of, from what I did see in the Facebook group anyway, is, and you'd said it yesterday, in no, and you didn't feel this way, in no way were we ganging up on you yesterday. It was a, it was a conversation in general. 100%. That we just weren't on the other side of. And everybody's like, by the end of it, like, she, look how not intelligent she is. She just shut down when dealt with logic or whatever. Uh, guys, I do two hour shows every single day. It, in the morning, I still have other ones. I was just done with it. You're I didn't have done. anything left to say. That's they fine. weren't ganging up on me. Uh, you just didn't, you, you, you just, at that point, you just, you wished you didn't bring tapped. it up. I had yeah, you wished you bring it up. Yeah, I get it. Because I don't even know how strongly I believe anything that I was. And that's the and, and also, But yeah. also people have to chill because some, we, sometimes we're just thinking out loud here and we're just having a conversation with right. friends and we're just discussing ideas and sometimes 100%. we can change each well, other's minds whoa, whoa, whoa. and sometimes we can't. Did you guys just hear that? What's friends. That? Conversation friends. with friends. Yay! Hey, we're friends. <laughs> yeah, but you know, but, but the, look, the thing, the thing is, is that you, like you said, pizza was really good. you also jumped into a conversation <laughs> yesterday with people who, who are comedians. Pa- very passionate about that. You and know? I so, don't know. Yeah. I was just throwing it out there. there like, is, I don't know, you know maybe we should bring up, bring, not up the Facebook, bring up the Facebook group for a second. And someone I posted actually yesterday, um, because, and I, and I, you know, I couldn't find it, Rox, but it, it's like, it's the, uh, I don't know if you watched it at all. They actually posted the George Carlin bit that I was talking about. Oh, no, I didn't see uh, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll play a little bit of it if we can find That's it. Go down. Good. It's it's great. So uh, it, it is the bit that I kind of referenced. Keep going. Keep going. You'll, you'll see you'll see the Carlin. Look at that. Ready? Top 10, top 10 cro- TV crossovers in the picture of Dorina and Roxy. I love it. All right. Keep going. <laughs> is that down. right now? Yeah. They're just posted. There's, look, the Facebook group is amazing. You go over to yeah. Collider Video. Uh, you know, you might be able to. Oh, no. All right. Let's play that oh. one. Just play it. Just play it. Fine. Go back up. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. Don't watch oh. it. Don't watch it. Uh, oh, I'm going to vomit. Can't. No, All I've right. seen it already. So this you is. Haven't seen it. So yesterday, yesterday we showed Stu. Right? Switching I'll come, gears. I'll, I'll come back to. I'll come mm-hmm. back to George Carlin. Yesterday we showed Stu. Did you listen to the show yesterday? Yeah. Stu was this guy who licked the subway pole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And apparently we have we have a uh, we have a lockdown on Stu. He's still running around doing stupid things. He and responded on Stu Tube. He did. We said, "Are you okay. still around?" Oh, there and he, he said, is. "Yep." And as dumb as ever. Here's some <laughs> more. Can I see yeah. now? Yeah. So here's and oh, I don't want to see that. Not this video. Not that video. So that one. Yeah, that one. That one. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. I can't watch it. Right. Yes, you We've can. We've all in a second. seen it. Uh, you know, Dorina has not seen this. So the Stu licked the pole, and then of course somebody. See now, Stu only got like 800 views if he's lucky, right? Under thousand for sure. This video. Well, I got posted on Barstool. Okay. Well, this video did 4.5. This is f- the, this this puts Stu to shame. This puts. Uh, does anyone disagree? No. A hundred percent puts so, him to shame. So, Dorina, this girl is. She's broadcasting. Pretty cute. She's broadcasting from uh, from from an, from an airport. From excuse me, uh, an actual flight. For anybody listening on iTunes, she's got pigtail braids in. She's got these bright blue eyes, these and freckles, nose rings. Rings. little nose rings. Five, five million views. Our right, children. Cute Dorina, little girl. Rocha, have you seen this? No, okay, here we go. This is a toilet. Oh no! <laughs> that is it. Oh, Whoa. she's still going. That's she's still no. She is licking the toilet from each end, and she's very happy. Look, she looks. She looks like she just ate a whole bowl of spaghetti. She <laughs> is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dorina loves it. And the it. caption is licking the airplane Dorina toilet because it. I'm gross like that. We just found Dorina's firecracker <laughs> hammer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dorina, we'll see it again. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's, it's disgusting. So, yeah. She's, she's also she's looks like she's enjoying. performing a sexual act. Yeah. Like she's, well, I think she's, I think she's trying she's to look really sexy. I think yeah, she's she like a porn star or something. She probably likes to be peed on or something. She, I think she is. I, I, I'm actually getting ill watching. Stop it, yeah, Cody. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting a little ill watching that one, and I don't. I don't. I have a pretty. I have a pretty good stomach. Um, but that's that's disgusting. What she is this wasn't one? even doing it for the fifty bucks that Stu was doing it no. for. She was just chilling. What is this that we're watching? I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is the he's making the ice cream. No, no, no. What is he making? What this is, is this? oddly satisfying him making ice cream? Oh. He's just making ice cream. Yeah, yeah. What? Who put this video on there? I don't know what this is. I don't know. I, I think know it's like that. a palate cleanser for oh, your... oh, for that. Oh. I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I get it. Okay, yeah. well, it's, it's please, reading Cody's look, mind. Look, look, look at Cody. He's having a blast. Look at... <laughs> it's disgusting. That to me, that makes the look. Look how happy she is. <laughs> 
She looks like she just ate like uh, the best. Like for yeah. me, that's my face after I've just eaten the best that's pizza in the world. Somebody's daughter. Uh, Oof. Like what happened? What What do you mean? That's like a dad. What if a dad Can was like on social media and he sees his daughter doing licking that? The toilets? Did you know that oh. the but, Chinese invented the toilets? Licking toilets. <laughs> you know what? This is my least favorite quality of Roxy. Is that she brings she won't all let my it go. Shit. She won't <laughs> let it go. I've heard that many a uh, time. <laughs> wait, you're gonna defend this? I didn't. I oh. just it just made me laugh. It, okay, but but I'm saying though, like because she's happy, so I'm happy for her. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a dog with a tree like in the that. park. Yeah, it's, it's like you know, I, yeah. I mean, look, <laughs> it doesn't affect me. I mean, she looks really happy about she it. Does, I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna argue she, with you there. She's dead. She's, she's dead yeah, somewhere. There, she what said, if she's dead inside she, and this is the only thing that makes her smile? She responded on Twitter <laughs> that this is the only... She Licking said she, toilets. She said she's licked a lot of toilets in her life. This is the only one she did where her tongue went numb. Oh, that she, she responded. She said that? Look, yes, look, look, look. Of course it went numb. Now, uh, is this in her yeah. house? No, it's in an airport. It's an airplane. It's an airplane. Okay. It's an airplane. But like, okay. legitimately, During a flight. this takes years off her life, right? Easily. A hundred percent. Easily. Not making a joke. No, seriously, this is making her die earlier. That her Easily. thing is licking toilets. Germs are no joke, or man. Or she doesn't get sick often because her immune system is amazing. Because of this. Because yeah, you but, need germs sometimes. Yeah, but the Did first though that the Chinese brought over immune <laughs> systems. Roka, <laughs> help me out here. Yeah. I can't, I can't Brutal. on this one. Brutal. This one's <laughs> disgusting. It's disgusting. disgusting. It's the worst thing I've ever <sighs> seen. Yeah, you, like you said, that's somebody's daughter. Yeah. But what, what so, that's a, why, okay, so why do you guys say that? If I was a dad uh -huh. and I saw my daughter licking an airplane yeah. toilet, so I'd lose my mind. But what's the mind. difference between... Dream, I feel the same thing about Stu. That's somebody's son. Yes, yeah. uh, exactly. Same, really? same thing. Yeah, yeah. like but you're somebody's kid, son or daughter. Yeah. So at someone, you know what? At someone's child. Child. Because yeah. If I, why? Why? Because you know, because for me, in twenty years, if I'm like, oh, they're playing a video of your daughter. Oh, really? What's she doing? Is she playing soccer? <laughs> what, what, what's she doing? With oh, her oh she helping a, a, an old lady? On the street? No, she's licking a shitter <laughs> uh, a on shitter. an airplane. You, you raised her so well. You're right. so proud. And then I go, yeah. what the fuck did I do? <laughs> That my daughter's trying to get 5.5 million by licking a okay, toilet. Okay, but you also grew up in a different generation, so whatever you did wasn't caught on tape. I don't think any uh, generation is going to be okay with this. No, I just mean that she's, Co she's on I tape. Mean, wait, 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 you've, done, on. you've done dumb things that Not, weren't on tape. Wait a minute now. Cody? <laughs> you've probably done dumb, dumber things than that. No, what? No way. That's as dumb as it gets. I don't know. Hold on a second. Cody, <laughs> hey, you, you, are, you are about to be a pop. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you are from a very different generation than I am. In 20 years, uh, do, have you have you said uh, publicly what, what you're having, a son or a daughter? Yeah, it's a boy. Okay. So in 20 years from now, your son is oh, licking toilets. I didn't know that. In, the, uh, <laughs> in a shitter <laughs> on the way to Barcelona. Um, would Do you think that's a generational thing, or would you be pretty, pretty, pretty bummed? I mean, I think I would laugh initially. <laughs> Whoa! The, the sheer shock factor at all, and right. then I would lose my mind. Right. I'd be like, what the hell? <laughs> what did you do? Like, yeah, what did you do? Like, yeah. there's, I've done dumb things. There's no doubt about it. Uh, I have never done that. Cody's yeah. having a boy. Yeah, I know. His name is Mike Trout Hall. Yeah, and I'll and I'll get right it, Josh. And I will yeah. I will put Roach. a lot of money on that. Cody's son will never lick a toilet. I can't. I'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's disgusting. I can't it's wait till his son <laughs> licks a toilet toilets. and I can send a video it, to Christian. It becomes a sport. <laughs> toilet licking. Who can who can yeah. survive? It's like the Hunger Games. This, yeah. See, toilet this licking. is the problem. This is it's the, the problem. new planking. Is yeah. now some other idiots like, well, oh. she got five million. I'm yeah. gonna go lick yeah. even yeah. grosser yeah. toilets. Yeah. Like the public bathroom at Santa Monica Beach, which Ooh. is hands oh. down. Yeah, okay. Uh, honestly, what I, what I did do to finally get Ill. this out of my system was I justified it by saying, unlike the pole, which has never once been cleaned, these toilets are cleaned constantly. It's, yeah. it's still disgusting. Yes. It's disgusting, yeah. but at the airport, all they do is clean the I toilets. Guess. Let me throw out, let, well, yeah. no, that's not an airport. That's an, an airplane. That's an airplane. Okay, airplane they, too. They, okay, all yeah. they, they do is they they clean, clean them. them. They Every them. time they clean them and but and someone's every, asshole or ass was like yes. grazed that thing. A hundred percent. But unlike the pole, this thing has been cleaned. Yeah. More so ask, than the pole, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. Now here are a couple caveats this one. Now she did say it made her tongue numb, which is gross. Right. Now there's two things. If you've Could ever, be the cleaning fluid. If you've ever been on a cross country flight, you know that about three hours into the flight. <sighs> yeah, you're right. It could be Lysol that yeah. numbed her tongue. Yeah. You know that that airport ba that airplane bathroom is pretty gross and invented by the Chinese. And correct, right. yes. <laughs> <laughs> they brought over airplane bathrooms right, with Marco right, Polo. Right, right. Here's the deal, 
though. She could have, in the first 15 minutes gone of the, the flight, flight, gone there. And she could have been smart about this. Now, do I think that's the case? No. no. Re- re- regardless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's licking a toilet seat. Smart about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> smart, but dumb. It legitimately looks like, like what Dorina said. <laughs> Dorina said, <laughs> oh, he's killing me. I oh, he's killing me. Is what she said. It's like, that's my face after I eat pizza. That is legitimately, like, if somebody laid out yogurt land on a toilet seat yeah. or whatever, and I yeah. just, like, licked it up, and I was like, that was so good. Right. That person is just licking a toilet. She just looks so happy. How much money would you guys take to to do that? That's what I asked them. For that one, I mean, I'm in the millions again. The the subway pole was five thousand. That's 150k. I would do it for a few hundred. Maybe. Maybe like a thousand. I think we have the center. You would lick that toilet. Wow. I mean, I would have to clean it and, like, you know, put Lysol and stuff over it. Well, that's the, not, but that's but not the. Then the price goes down. Do yes. you think that, like, what are the like five grand? Maybe. What are the logistics the of thing. this? Like, what did she do? How did? How is she doing this? And also, she's yeah. it's, the filters on it. So what did she? <laughs> <laughs> I like, she I like, like that uh, she's criticizing well, no, the direction. It's actually, it's actually, set, it's actually a great point. She's just like, I can't release it unless it's perfect. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> how many it's attempts? Like, right? How many right. attempts? My face, my face has to look good. Yeah. My face really has to look good while I swipe from left to right. And it's like... Uh, uh, did she, she put a caption on it? A oh, filter? Yeah, look, like yeah. She's centered in frame? Ugh. Yeah, maybe it's numb because she did well, it like ten times. Yeah. Filthy. Yeah. Am, I, am I really the getting it? Her tongue is Look. numb. She's been licking it, trying to get the right angle. Yeah, right. <laughs> Unreal. All right. Wasn't there something else? There were a couple other things that we. we I got to jump off at this point. All right. See you later. Right. See you guys. Um, oh, yeah. So I there mean... was something else that that there was another video that I tagged you still down. Have your headphones on. They were brought over from so. China. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that right, one. What is that video? I don't even know what that is. That just a palate cleanser? No. He was trying to fuck some ice cream. He what? Look at him. He's so sensually getting that ice cream ready. All is right. that funny? I thought it was funny. Alex, um, hey, Alex, Alex, we, Alex, we need to have a talk. Here's I the like funny his thing. Shirts. No, no, we just we did this yesterday, Alex. Yeah, there, you got to pitch things. You can't just put them on the air. Dude, this is this is atrocious. What did what? he say yesterday? I don't I go, hate it. What's I, wrong with that? It, it, it's fine. What is it? Yeah. There's no bit to it. Go, go atrocious. To, is it weird that? That what the guy making the ice cream thing is? I'm not even looking at the dude. I'm looking at the ice, ice cream. cream. Like I wasn't even looking at the this, man. This this is this is Roxy. Roxy. If I was to bet on this one, right? I don't know if you guys have seen this. No. I feel I feel Roxy will obviously hate this. Thank you. Darina could go either way. Makuga will laugh. Mm-hmm. Uh, turn turn. This is the video. Turn it up. She says it's the grossest thing she's ever recorded. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Go back. One more time. One more time. Look. It's like a machine gun. It's a cat. That's a cat for everybody. Cody, I think we need to pull that sound bite. One more time, please. That's so gross. One more time, if you please. Listen. I knew it. All right, so, so for any of the people listening, it's a cat sneezing and a ton of boogers coming out of its nose, and pretty then funny. it continues to sneeze. And you, it's and pretty ha- gross what, and funny. Now, what do you hate more? Which video do you hate more, the toilet video or that video? This video. I know you would. Because of the I booger. The no, fluids are no, perfect. No, she hates it's animal videos. She hates animal videos. You hate videos. animals? Animal no, videos. Animal videos. Animal videos. Oh. Animal videos. Oh. Animal videos. Yeah. First of all, it looks like the cat's breaking its neck at first. That's how cats sneeze. Yeah. Have yeah. you guys seen when cats get brain freeze? No. Dude, look that up. Put cat brain freeze. It's really good. Okay. Is this similar to the cucumber thing? Have you guys seen this? Cats, when they jump away. Yeah. All right, let's see. Cat gets brain freeze. Uh, here we go. Here we go. So what happens to the cat? When it gets brain freeze, the cat's eating some cat's kind of ice eating cream. eating like a... Oh! Hold on, what's happening? Licking uh, it to the sign? <laughs> it's just... The whole body just... <laughs> just freezes the whole his body face. just freezes up. Yeah. All right, there you go. That's pretty That's from Germany. Um, which they did not invent ice cream. The Chinese, did. <laughs> they uh, may have. We don't know. He yeah. was actually mad about that. Oh, Roke is mad about it for a second. I, th- I think we've I've got, said he does amazing work on this show. He does. He's really good. He on was, I'm gonna call he, him he, he gets mad about everything. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he wasn't mad about not being on my panel. Oh, he wasn't invited. Oh, good point. <laughs> he okay. wasn't in Seattle, just chilling <laughs> in his hotel. I want to switch. Oh. Good point. <laughs> no, I, no, I want to switch. I want to switch back to uh, Facebook. Real, Facebook group. I want to sh- do show that clip and then move on. If we can find that uh, that George Carlin clip real quick, because I just want to get to the beginning. Uh, oh yeah, you know what? Stop. Ooh. Right there. So the, there, I forgot that uh, I've been. Tell- I've told him I would talk about it last week, and I forgot. Dagnino dropped the latest little Bobby in the Juice, but it is the infamous uh, Carl. Who win a goldfish here? It is the the episode is out and is yeah. The episode three is out. I believe episode three is out now, and Carl Carl is uh, 
is running around. Maybe the trailer's out. It could be the trailer or the... No, it might be the episode. Maybe the episode itself. Either way, Eight? go there and Carl is running around when a goldfish here. Is go to the Little Bobby and the Juice trailer. Did you watch the episode? I have not had a chance okay. to yet, but I, but I will, obviously, for yeah. Little Bobby and... Uh, and for Carl. And Carl. But yeah. keep keep scrolling down. You know what? You know what? Just bring it up on YouTube. Just put... Uh, yeah, it's... it's, it's well, I think that it's actually George Carlin... Anything Anything is funny? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Anything can be funny. Uh, there it is. Okay, the first one. Yeah. Yep. All right, so just here's here's the beginning of it. Just And you might not change, you may not. I like you to talk like that. Oh, some people would like to shut you up for saying those things. You know that. Lots of people, lots of groups in this country want to tell you how to talk, tell you what you can't talk about. Well, sometimes they'll say, well, you can talk about something, but you can't joke about it. Say you can't joke about something because it's not funny. Comedians run into that shit all the time. Like rape. They'll say, you can't joke about rape. Rape's not funny. I say, fuck you. I think it's hilarious. How do you like that? <laughs> I can prove to you that rape is funny. Picture Porky Pig raping Elmer Fudd. <laughs> See? Hey, why do you think they call him Porky, huh? <laughs> I know what you're going to say. Elmer was asking for it. Elmer was coming on to Porky. Porky couldn't help himself. He got a hot on. He got horny. He lost control. He went out of his mind. A lot of men talk like that. A lot of men think that way. They think, they think it's the woman's fault. They like to blame the rape on the woman. Say, hey, she had it coming. She was wearing a short skirt. These guys think women ought to go to prison for being cock teasers. Don't seem fair to me. Don't seem right. But you can joke about it. I believe you can joke about anything. It all depends on how you construct the joke what the exaggeration is, what the exaggeration is. Because every joke needs one exaggeration. Every joke needs one thing to be way out of proportion. Give you an example. You ever see a news story like this in the paper? Every now and then you run into a story that says, some guy broke into a house, stole a lot of things, and while he was in there, he raped an 81-year-old woman. And I'm thinking to myself, why? <laughs> What the fuck kind of a social life does this guy have? <laughs> All right, cut it, cut it. <laughs> oh, I didn't get to the good part. But, which really this, I mean, the, the, bit's, yeah. the bit is 18 minutes right, long, right, whatever right. it is. Too. Well, I just like it when he talks about uh, how if, if, like, if, if the government is always controlling people's thoughts and society is controlling people's thoughts, and like, if, you're, if you're controlling what people are allowed to say, then you're controlling what we think, right? right? And so that part of it, I thought, it was really yeah. smart, and it's true. And and to add a little bit about the conversation about y yesterday, you, I think for me, when I, how I deal with pain and suffering and trauma in my life, I need to laugh about it, right? So I need comedy to survive life, and I think that you can, if if you do it in a smart way, that makes me laugh, then I that then that helps me deal with with how hard life is, right? So I think we need comedy. I don't want to cry about everything all the time. I need to laugh, right? right? So that 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 I think is uh, if it's done in a smart way, yeah. and 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 we're gonna disagree on like we like you guys were saying yesterday. So what's funny to me may not but be the, funny to right, you. Right, and that's your take. And that's your right, take right, on right. it. Okay, cool. Um, well, let's uh, let's I mean, unless you don't want. I didn't think it was funny. Okay, but you <laughs> but you understood right, but you understood what he was what he was saying. I, I think that for me. I find very few things that are insensitive funny. Yeah. So, sure, Darina, I think laughing at things is great. I, I'm somebody who likes to laugh at things also, but then I guess you've got to be more clever. Yeah. Because that, that to me was... That didn't work for you. Well, you uh, know, to, the whole thing, you got to see the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Thing, and, yes. and he's one of the funniest of all time, yeah. from what I'm told. But I... I don't know. I just it, I've never been like, wow, that was a great rape joke. Right. Good yeah. job. Kind of like what Josh was saying. And again, you're do whatever you want. Yeah. Do whatever you want. I'm I'm not a fascist dictator. By the way, <laughs> by the way, how am I even going to implement my rules? I, I don't. No, what am I, I going to do? Well, Lay the law you down. You can't even find your way to parliament. No, house. because what I hundred <laughs> percent. I just re I, I re listened to it. And what it, what it was? I think that all all it really is is that <clears> it's like you said. You, no one's going to change your mind that the things that you have that you think uh, you're not going to laugh at them because yeah. you don't find them funny. The, the amount of tweets I got, like, you moron, school shootings are hysterical if you make them that way. No, I no, was no. just it, like, it, just but, to me, they're but, not. See, but that's, the, that's the wrong, the yeah. wrong approach in general yeah. is there's no, there's no one that can tell you, well, wait a minute. This is funny. I'm not, what I was saying yesterday by no means was that like, I'm going to tell you a joke eventually out of all, or someone will, the, the things that you find offensive that you're going to laugh at. 
that's not you might never find any of those jokes funny. What I'm telling you is she might or he might inside totally. of that crowd. That's why they should be able to. And, and that's it, why every sentence I said started with for me. Right. Yeah. That's all but I anyway, can talk about. And that's because we're but, all different. But that's <laughs> how fascist dictators start their speeches. <laughs> <laughs> for me, fascism actually started in China. Correct. All right. Uh, all right let's let's uh, let's let's move. Oh yeah, man. Oh, somebody got at me yesterday too because I with Stu. People sometimes they, they, they do. I got I got a tweet too uh, because there was a. Uh, when Stu, we were talking about how disgusting those polls were, right? And I was like, yeah, you know, who knows if anybody, if somebody can contact, uh, contracted like HIV or something right. and got it on their hand from needle and put it on. Hey, this is a 1982 guy. We go back. Uh, that's not the way it's uh, the way it's you can get it now. It was a fucking point that the poll was disgusting. Yeah. Okay, whatever it was, he picked his asshole and wiped the fucking that, shit on there. That's it's like, it's like, like get a life. Insert any other disease here. It's, like, yeah, it's it like, come a, on. But the point, what the point? It's like you want to really nitpick. Oh, uh, wait a minute, way to go back to 1983, Harlow. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Cut it out. By, the, I, by the way, if there is blood on the pole, a hundred percent, you could contract any. Yeah, but what? Whatever, I know that's not the point. Yeah, yeah, I'm just yeah. saying, like. But yeah, what, the point was that he was licking up disgusting pole, and he could have got. In something, guy. <laughs> can I can I say something about positive comments? Yes, and not just negative ones. Uh, the Collider Life bands in Seattle were amazing. Yeah, they were great. I heard they were yeah. really good. It was awesome. Well, Roxy yeah. said it yesterday too. She's. I mean, we're, are the the audience, and this is again, Roxy and I had this conversation off air yesterday, is that because we have we have so much time now. We have five days a week. We have these two hour shows that we do. We, because. Like I said yesterday, if we were doing like an hour show, mm -hmm. right? It's like you can get in a couple of quick bits and then you do the interview and then it's over. But yeah. because we have so much time, we're able to develop very similar like a television show. We develop our personalities. The fans have been really responding to it and they've been able to create songs and bits. And And I have found even, even if not more so, and I don't know if you agree or disagree, that this fan base of Collider Live has become as strong as the old Schmoes No Show. To where I think it's a lot of the same fans. Do you well, know what I mean? I we mean, have a I bigger audience now, though. Yeah, but I mean, I think that a lot of those Schmoes No fans... Same and type of fans, Same you type, mean? Yes. yeah, but I think a lot of the fans that were Schmoes No fans that were then Collider Movie Talk fans, once they found out about Collider Live fans, or Collider Live, and they follow us on social media, it was an easy transition sure. for you them. You know what I'll say, though? Because you grew with Schmoes, and I took a little hiatus is that it's so different from when Schmoes was, I was there. When on After Buzz. So it might, maybe it's more similar to what Schmoes was as it grew. It feels more toad hoppy. Yeah. To yeah, totally, yeah. 100%. I just, I just think, I mean, everybody that would come up to us and say hi was very kind and very, and and I just feel like it, it the show create creates this community yep. of people that whether they're, you know, at home and they're feeling lonely or socially anxious or they're disabled and they can't leave their house, like whatever reasons they're watching us and they're sitting here, like they they really feel less lonely, I think. And and they're that's why they're all really kind and, and have been a really cool community. Yeah, no, so. I found that a lot. And I think that's another reason why I'm so glad that the Facebook group is thriving the way it is now, because you see and that's why it again reminds me similarly of, of like two thousand four fifteen or fourteen. When we started the, uh, the the Facebook group Schmoville, right? It was, it's you you see this community. They are thriving. They wanted to, when we go to Chicago, they wanted to meet and greets. They're doing some for the free for all this Saturday, and it's like they're the Collider Live community is becoming as big as say the like the Schmodown community 100%. is, right? Too, and and we were missing that for a long time, and we've been missing it. I think since even well maybe like the phase the beginning of phase six of the Schmoes No Show was still pretty strong, and then I don't know what happened. Think, things have life happens, and it just started to. We lost it a little bit. I think that now, because of this show, because we can get these conversations, and even though this room is a little small closet with a shit table. With the smelliest mics in ever, the entire world. Ever. Um, but and no ventilation. No, but what it does is. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, they do smell. It, it, Thank you. It, it, oh. creates this, it creates this energy inside of this room that I think that the magic has happened for when we started the show in August. It's really cool. I've been bumping into people on the streets that just I are coming it. up and saying, you know, I love what you guys are doing on the show. Thanks so much. And that that's awesome. Yeah. Like, that's the best. Mm -hmm. Well, there's also the fact that we, we all decided and we all agreed going into this show, everyone on it, that there were no filters. And it's like you, the same person that I talked to in the hallway, if I, McCougan and I have a conversation uh, that we're laughing or a conversation we're arguing with, with each other, it's the same conversation we have on the air. And I think we've done that. And I th also think that we've been very good at being able to say, all right, look, we got into it. Let's talk about it. Let's get it on the show. Let's hash it out. 
And then we go on with our lives, and we, we're professionals, and, and, we, and we make and we make a show. And I would rather do that than get peppered on social media and be told I can't say if we squashed it or not, which it was under other people that were on this channel. Was was I what I was told? Like certain things on Collider TV talk when certain hosts left or whatever, we weren't allowed to talk about it, and that's bogus. And that's like. I get it to a certain extent, but also getting peppered by fans all the time about it, not being able to tell anything, when it's a very minor thing, you want to go like this, and just, just like, uh, you right. know what I mean? Like just, no, just always, we hash it out. And we've always been like that. We've always been like, you know, we gotta, we gotta beef. Let's just talk about yeah. it on the air and get because I think that a lot of times, nine out of ten times, and I couldn't disagree more when I see comments of like, oh, this should have been safer. Or off the air, I saw that like the whole the whole thing that happened when we did the with the suck my dick stuff and and just in general. Why does it make people uncomfortable to see conflict in general? Like it, like because you guys are handling conflict in a friendly, mature, right. responsible way. I, yeah, I and get I think that. that, and I think that people need to see that more. I get why it makes people uncomfortable. I don't think being uncomfortable is a bad thing, though. I no. think that that's where growth is. But I think like you know when you watch mom and dad fight and you're and it's like. I think a lot of people look at Josh and I like we're siblings. Like uh, people make that comment all the time that we're like brother and sister. And I think when you watch us like extremely go at it, you watch Josh storm out. What's happening? Uh, right. Yeah, it, it's more just like, wait, is this because they still have the WWE mentality? Maybe yeah. from right. Shimoda. Right. It's like, is this a bit? What's, ha What's what happening? What is happening? And I understand. We didn't that. even know what was happening in the room. So I get why people. But then I think people are getting used to it though. Want to be part of that? Like right. we want to open those doors so that you guys are part of that community. Yeah. It's it like goes, watching a family go. Th Go at it. It is, and yeah. it goes back. It goes. It just goes back to what I was saying. It's it's just the ongoing television show. The same way that you follow the bits. The same way, if you go, like if you tune in, you go, oh, they referenced the Rose Campoyo. I remember when that came up. It's the same thing of like you. They've been with you guys during that fight. Right. They've been with us during our conversation of the of the comedy uh, thing, and they'll, they'll they'll continue with that. Like they, they've bitch. seen us. They've seen us. They've seen us. You and I. Laugh. Get your shirt. Well, they've seen you and I laugh together. They've seen yeah. Dorina and I argue with each other, and then again team up with talking about cat videos and laughing about that and you they just they, they know us they, which and that's means the they've whole heard point. our promises which is why I still get so many tweets about when we're doing our one on one Christian well I'm thinking about one of the things that I'd want to do is uh, perhaps and I had mentioned that to you when Kate was on because we're going to Star Wars Celebration once again might as well plug it here too the, there's a lot wait you're going to be there I'm not going anymore well, good. I wasn't going to hang out with you anyway. Can Josh the, take your seat on the panel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Schmodown Live. The Is there any panels you've got for non friends? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My non friend non -friend. panel. Are you doing any panels there? My acquaintances panel. No, I just no. want to hang out. Okay. I'm already doing enough stuff. All right. It'll be Why a dick do you about want it. me to work more? I didn't ask you to do a damn thing. I don't like your panels. Uh, <laughs> you don't ask your friends <laughs> no, to work. No, you do. No. In Chicago. Well, pizza. Had, correct. There you go. See, now Chicago pizza to me is very different. Chicago yeah. pizza to me, I would say. Josh and I are doing it. It's a different type of pizza. But hold on. Yeah. Deep dish, yes, but Chicago has thin crust that I've heard is very good, and I never tried. Chicago, and I love thin Chicago crust. to me, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fuck with insulting Chicago pizza because, because again, I didn't live in Chicago. I lived mm -hmm. in Florida. I lived in, I lived in L.A. And I can tell you the pizza. <laughs> I've heard good things about Chicago yeah. pizza, so I am gonna go with you to check out some stuff. Even like I've had, I've never had the thin crust, but a couple fans have tweeted out like, "You got to try thin crust pizza in Chicago." And if you're a Chicago fan out there, if you've been to Chicago and you've had good thin crust, please tweet at us or Facebook group, whatever, and tell us a place to go to get thin crust because we will most yes. definitely go. Especially Absolutely. if there's pineapple. Can in you no, bring we, it we, back? We already we have we have someone that's gonna take us around. Oh, oh yeah, Jay. Jay. Oh yeah, Jay, Jay, yeah, Jay's yeah, yeah. from there. Also, yeah. are we gonna do Roxy's idea where What's we're up? actually gonna do a collider live over there? No, not in Chicago Why yet. Why not? Because uh, you're too busy. Wait, can you bring it back and explain what's happening for the one-on-one? -on -one I am. Okay. Thank you. People, people like to talk. <laughs> Sorry, um, we brought up pizza. Damn, <laughs> I know. Sorry. And by, by people, pizza I'm talking screws right. everyone. <laughs> yes. So here. So first of all, starting with, uh, it, it all loops back. The Schmodownlive.com. Get your tickets. There's only there's really not that many seats left for Chicago, but please try to get them anyways. Uh, April thirteenth on Saturday. Do that on Friday. What time is that? Uh, Nighttime or eight daytime show? Oh, no. Eight o'clock, sat or it might be seven. Anyway, just go to the showdownlive.com. Nice. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I, it's on the it's on the site. I okay. forget. And I get I get mixed up with the dates and the times for the different shows that we're doing. But uh, but go and check it out. It, it, and then uh, the night before Friday, Josh McCuga, Ken Knapsack, Mark Ellis, they are performing. Is Jay on that bill too? I don't think so. Not on that I one. I think okay. it's just us. And then Mark does his hour because there's two shows back to back. I see. I see. So go and you Not can get tickets for from Mark MarkEllisLive.com. The top ten show is on Thursday night. If you want to get tickets for the top ten, you can do that. And uh, and Ken and Joseph Scrimshaw are doing something. It is a full on. 
weekend. We also have, uh, we are doing, what is it, the Jedi Council on Sunday. If you have tickets for the actual convention, you can come see us. And on Friday, we're also doing the qualifying match inside the convention. Those those two things, you have to have tickets for celebration. The others, you do not. Now, to answer your question, Roxy, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I will be here on the show for that, that week of April to do Collider Live. Thursday, I believe Riley and uh, maybe you, know, maybe you, I don't know yet. I'll be here Thursday, I think. I will not okay. be here Friday. Well, we'll have a crew here on Thursday, but Friday, none of us are going to be here. We're all, we're all out on, on Friday. So my idea, which has not been put into a, a definite yet, is that we pre-tape the one-on-one. And and air it as an episode of Clyde Live during that that Whoa. hour, maybe even air it like live to where you can live chat. I was thinking about it. So, have what, you guys done a one on one already? Well, I did a one on one with her. Oh, you want to do one on one with him? Yeah, and then we and then I hadn't been interviewed yet, and and because the one on one people keep asking, so like, it's it's on hiatus right now. The show itself, and there's a lot of things that I worked out with Fernandez and. Um, and so right now I'm focusing on Collider Live mm-hmm. and Jedi Council. So that's the, the majority of stuff that I do on Collider right now. And um, and so one on one has taken a back seat. Mm. So what I happened? just spilled all over myself. It's like that Thanos video you showed. Yeah. Me. yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna send it to Cody. Send it to Cody. It's really funny. Uh, but anyway, so um, so that's the answer to that question. I would like to try to do that. What I want, what I would like to do is, if there are people that you want to talk to, because you are such a good research. Yeah. You do better research than I do. And if there are people that you want to talk to before we get into it, um, that, that's cool. Um, and then we can, uh, you know, we can get into it. Cool. So you just let me know who you want to talk to, and I'll tell you yes or no. Try to, f- I'll, I'll introduce you to the ex-girlfriend that uh, that's running Twitter and won't verify me. It, does she exist? No. Okay. <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what I'm convincing. It's either that or Dorina. One of the two. It's me. It's you. Um, You're never getting verified. I, I, I think that's true. Anyway, so let's. Uh, let, but that's that's gonna be a lot of fun. The, yeah. uh, that event. I can't. I've never been to Chicago. Yeah. So I can't You've wait. Never to go. been. Never been. Uh, well, I went. Me either. I went once I, when I was working for the WWE. Okay. I was. I was in the convention center. I, I was didn't there. See for, anything. I was there for the night inside the convention center. Uh, you know, and, and, and that was it. Yeah. Um, I spent a weekend there last year uh, on Memorial Day weekend. It was so hot, um, but it was amazing. I would imagine that the weather in Chicago is just like it is in Pittsburgh in April. It's like it could be beautiful and 70 or 38, you know what I mean, and raining. So, By uh, the way, sorry, one more other thing, too. We have have a couple people out there that will be Chicago natives. You've got... um, And Draco also. And Draco, Aaron Wilhelm, who's our editor, and then uh, Frankie Frankie Numbers. Frankie Frankie Numbers will be out there, too. So so we'll we'll find places to go, for sure. And I trust Frankie. Yeah. Yeah. I like that Frankie numbers. He's I gotta tell dude. you. He's a good dude. Yeah, he is a good dude. And he's uh he works he works really hard on the Schmodown rundown. Those guys have been just killed. the show's the best it's ever been. It really is sports center for uh for the Schmodown. Hey, real quick, I, I don't I don't know yeah. if you had planned on talking about this later, but I saw a bunch of tweets this morning about Schmodown News. Oh yeah, yeah. So so the, there's a fan there is a fan who runs um Schmodown News. He just he started it he's not it's not an official, he's mm-hmm. a, he's a he's a fan who's doing it for a very long time. Um, and he just, you know, one of those hardcore mega fans. Right. Last year, I saw him posting stuff about his daughter, and she was she was sick, yeah. and he was posting stuff uh, to, for help. And I, you know, I made sure that we we got the word out there for her too. Yeah. We had fundraising that he was doing, and he and he, and he was able to get the treatment. And uh, yeah, I get the the tweet last night that his his, uh, his daughter passed away. Yeah, Aww. so yeah. Um, it broke it's my brutal. heart when I saw it. And uh, there was I retweeted it last night. I'm, uh, so he's he's raising. He's, I can't even. He's trying. He's trying to uh, pay off the bills and stuff. Well, and and for the, and and pay for the funeral, funeral. and stuff too. People have no so idea how expensive that is. It, it, so. it is. Mm-hmm. So I just uh, I just tweeted it. I retweeted it on my. Um, on my Twitter, so just go there and, and check it out. He's he's a really he's a good fan, good guy, uh, and and just a tragedy that I wouldn't bestow on my worst enemy. So yeah. uh, please go and, uh, and 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 help him out if you can. Oh, that's horrible. Um, yeah, look, there's no easy way to transition out of that. So what we're gonna do is we'll take a break. Uh, when we get back, we are gonna talk about this trailer that dropped today with Toy Story for sure. There's other things happening in the, in, in the news. Paramount is determined to destroy the Transformers, and we'll uh, we'll come back in a little bit. Yeah. 
Hey, Collider fans, John Roca here. Look that behind me. There it is, Collider Sports. That's right, that is happening. We've got some great programming on there already. For those of you that have already watched, thanks so much. we got so much coming down the pike. We're talking about NFL. We're going to talk about NBA. There's plans about NHL. Golf is in the equation now. And, of course, the Premier League show with that I host with Jack Hind, that's been in motion for the last couple of weeks. And then an MMA show is on the way from Dennis Zhang, me, and Jay Williams. All those things are happening here at Collider. And, look, we want to hear from you, so we want you to listen. We want you to watch if you're a sports fan. Even if you're not a sports fan, we might entertain you, teach you something new about a sport that you may not have known much about or maybe so deep into it that you wanted to learn even more about it. We've got you covered. You can do that. Follow us on iTunes and on YouTube. You can there watch all the shows uh, or listen to all the shows that you want and then leave us comments and rate uh, the shows as well and review them and then let us know what other sports you want us to cover. Look, we're not touching rugby. I'll just tell you that right now. That's as far out as we'll go uh, or cricket but uh, maybe in the future if we go collider worldwide that's certainly a possibility but for right now collider sports is there for you take a look at it take a watch and let us know what you think oh hi guys it's perry here and i am going to tell you about the witching hour it is the show that i host along with collider.com's Haley Fouch. It is in podcast form on the Collider factory feed. And we also have the video up and running every Tuesday for you right there on the Collider podcast YouTube channel. We talk about everything horror. We're talking TV, movies, the newest releases. We talk about movies that are celebrating anniversaries. We've even talked about books. It's crazy. If it is scary, we are talking about it on The Witching Hour. We also have so many filmmaker interviews, really cool stuff. It's all coming your way every single Tuesday on The Witching Hour. Check it out. Collider Factory and the Collider Podcast YouTube channel. Ugh. Hello, Collider Live. My name is Amy Dallin. And I'm Corey Jondro. And we host a little show we love called Collider Heroes. And it is all of the things we love about movies, TV, comics themselves, all the breaking news, trailers, photos, but not paparazzi photos. <laughs> all of the superhero stuff we love, all of the indie comic stuff we love, all the stuff you had no idea was based on comics. 80 years of comic lore have led to this show and many years in film and TV, and we're living in a golden age of comics, and we want to share all of that zeal with you folks. So we talk about the stuff that's coming out, we talk about what we hope is coming out, we do fantasy casting of things that should exist, why don't they exist? And we do your Twitter questions asking directly to us what we think of certain things, and every single week, since we both actually love and read physical comics, buy and print, we have a comic pull list where our five biggest favorite books of the week come out, and we dive into those with you guys. You can buy digital, I'll forgive you, as long as you're paying for your comics, it's all good. But if you buy in print, you can bag them and board them, and then they're worth more later, because comics are like certain things from the 90s that are totally worth the value. Buy comics, <laughs> buy in print. Digital's never worth anything later. Buy in print, keep comic stores alive. Or we can debate collector's items all day long. We can debate casting, we can debate movie, movie news. We can have all of our friends come join us, as we frequently do. We can ask professionals about their work. We've had some amazing guests come by the show. Yep. We try and we to can catch it every Wednesday. That are on these properties that also love comics. You hear what it's like from their perspective, from inside, from outside. And this is all with the focus of bringing all this news to you guys. And we're here every Wednesday on Collider. And we love this stuff and want to share it with you guys. We'll see you then. Hey guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about the Riley Roundtable. That's right, they gave Riley his own podcast. The Riley Roundtable is on its new home. It drops every Thursday. The Riley Roundtable is a little bit about everything. It's about movies and life, life and movies and everything in between. I like to have on special guests for discussions like Justice League versus Batman v Superman, for discussions about wine tasting, for discussions about UFOs, and everything in between. That's right, the Riley Roundtable drops on Thursdays on the one-on-one -on -one with Christian Harloff podcast feed, and later on Collider Video's own podcast video network. So check it out every Thursday, the Riley Roundtable. See you there. Hey, everyone. John Roca here, one of the hosts for Collider Sports Time. That's our new show there on the Collider Sports Network. It's our flagship show, just like Collider Movie Talk. We get on, talk about a bunch of sports issues of the day and what is burning up social media what topics are burning up social media that's what we do on collider sports time i'm joined by my top 10 co-host matt nost me and him we welcome a bevy of guests every week to talk about nfl the major league baseball playoffs nhl and the nba which is starting up soon we're going to talk about that we also get into ufc stuff college football 
all the stuff that's happening in the world of sports. We're going to cover it on Collider Sports Time. And we're going to take the time to break it all down and give our opinions and our unique takes and unfiltered thoughts on what we think about the sports news of the day. So don't forget to join us every week on Monday for the Collider Sports Time show on the Collider Sports Network. And don't forget to subscribe on the Collider Sports Network on YouTube and on the Collider Sports Podcast feed. We're going to bring you all kinds of stuff. Hope to hear from you soon. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Collider Live. Mark Ellis doesn't like fish. <laughs> Do you know that he doesn't like fish? Did you know that he fucking hates fish? Mark <laughs> Ellis hates fish. He hates fish. He hates fish. Is this fucking Alex? hates fish. Fucking hates, hates fish. fish. This is Alex's song. This is good. Yeah, he's good. It's good. We, we already memorized the lyrics to it. Yeah. yeah. Nailed it. Mark Ellis fucking hates fish. He hates some fish. <laughs> I'm sure Why Alex loves you guys butchering his song with this like, terrible well, rendition of Mark well, Ellis hates fish. Well. Alex is secretly trying to take over the show. He wrote, he wrote me this morning. He's like, he's like, you know, can I? <laughs> like, can I he goes, he goes, can I? Can I post my my song to the Facebook group? I said, absolutely, you can. You should absolutely yeah. just, you know, put a little post in the beginning, let him know it's part of the show, and and do it. He's like, absolutely, I'll do it. And then he plays it on the show. <laughs> So he's, like, he's becoming Palpatine. But, uh, listen, gets, if it was terrible, I would say don't play it. Every time he sings it's it. Good. No, it's great. It's great. He gets very ballsy, though. Like, sometimes yeah. because there's Ellis something about fish. him that seems, like, so shy and innocent. So I always try to, oh, like, he's real help scumbag, advance isn't he? the career. And I try to give tips. But then I'm like, he doesn't need me. No. No, he's no. got that. No, he's got that. Fa- he's got that. He's fa- pretending to be very nice, nice and no, polite. No, no, no. He, yeah, he, but he, deep ki- down, he, he kicks he's dogs. Total badass. Yes, yeah. Yesterday, yeah. he just started talking during the show. Right during the show. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you he's hear, like, did I you don't hear, give. No, did you hear that? <laughs> no. Yeah. 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 It was great. <laughs> yeah, just a little, it just goes on. And Patch his mic in louder. It was yeah. like, well, what I Yeah, think. Alex, at, at Alex point, please do that every time they start talking about The Bachelor. At that point. Just start talking. There's a lot of good action in The Bachelor. Yeah, at that, that. at that point, you just you just pop in and go, shut up, morons, I'm talking. Hey, Alex. <laughs> hey, Alex. Um, okay, so there were a couple things to, to, we'll go back to the videos. Hey, we, Alex. Thank you. There are two videos, actually, that, that right during the break, people tweet videos at us all the time. This one just got sent to me that I thought was No really, more licking, right? The, no, no, no. This, okay. one, this one's better. And actually, I think we get a sound clip out of it as well, too. But this is something that was just sent to me. Go ahead. Let's, uh, let's bring this up. Uh, don't look yet, McCooks. We're going to wait. Uh, go, go to the beginning, please. Uh, don't look yet, please, guys. I'll tell you when. All right, so there's a guy in a car, and Doreen, I'm going to need you to tell me at the very end what is said, because I do not know. I'm being serious. Okay. All right, is here it we go. Spanish? What if it's not I think so. It might be not. It's Russian. Here, here we go. Miami's Daily Traffic. Coño, me cago en la pinga. <laughs> what, 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 what did he say? What did he say? Oh, yo me cago en la pinga. Yeah, thanks. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> did I hit my dick? What did he say? No, I I shit on my pinga, which is like I, I shit verga, on or it's I don't want to say it. Penis? Oh, okay. I, I shit on yeah, sort of like a like oh, a really bad way dick. of saying it. Oh, okay. so the bad way of saying I shit on my penis? Yeah, yeah no, right. my dick. Yeah. All right, we'll go back to that again because my like pinga. look look at penis. he's just going. Look, look, he's just moving and then bang. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it's really good. Wait, wait, wait. Roxy no, liked that yeah. one. No, it's funny. Roxy liked that one. I feel bad for the other dude, but, obviously. But it, but the voice the voice changed because no, he's well, he, really good. But he's so excited. He's so excited. Like he's like, hey, it's Miami traffic coming to boom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But also, he kind of sounds like Fred Armisen when he would do that yes. Latino yeah. as well, like, oh, my little pinga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One, more, one more time. One more it's time. very Miami. Here we go. Look at him. <laughs> it's really good. What is the first thing he's saying? Da- Miami My, Daily Profit? No, it's yeah. a traffic. He's, he's like, like he's Miami doing, Daily Traffic. Yeah, he's oh doing, a, oh, he's doing yeah. a traffic report, and then he, instead of oh. slowing down yeah. like one does in traffic, he just fucking goes for it right into the back <laughs> of the car. But I also love that one he's more time? Sure, I'll do it one more time. Okay. okay. We're all in. Miami's Daily Profit. I don't understand though. Is he videotaping while he's driving yes. and he's watching in the, on his phone camera it's that he's really about good. to crash his car? I think what happens. <laughs> oh, oh, I think what happens is your brain cannot comp- like keep. He hits speed instead of brake. Right. Like right. I think the, also it was. Like, what if you got really no, good at driving though? If you did that, but wait, you just drove through your phone and then you'd actually that was know it. how to. But wait a minute. Look at look at go back to the very beginning of this though too. Here's the thing. Like if you go, everyone stopped. Yeah, and he's just going. 
<laughs> but this is how we know the other one we watched yesterday is fake. Look what happens to your camera when you hit somebody. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah totally. I know. Exactly. I know. Let me. Okay. <laughs> Real quick. I know. This, <laughs> this might be the best video we've ever played. It's on a good show. one. It's really. Good. You like it better than the hammer? Oh, it's real cool. No, bring the up the hammer. hammer. Bring really up the hammer. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I want to play uh, the tweet. We'll, we'll play, we're going to play yours. Well, really we're definitely going to play yours. Okay, sure. so, but this one, because the guy's like, Miami Daily Traffic, then he sounds like a cartoon character. Yeah. Talking Holy God, God, God. 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 It's so good. There you go. Right, right. That almost sounds fake. Good. Oh, here's my buddy. Yay. Yes. Dorina loves this one, too. Yeah. Roxy hates oh, it. Here's man, the, this is the fire hammer. Here it is. It's his red hat. It's like he's like, it's like iconic at this point. Here he goes. This one's much worse than the cow when I changed my mind. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There he goes. All right. I don't want to do this. So <laughs> Come on, up, Binga. Oh, let me go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now, what did Which you one? just I've got say? a great <laughs> idea. I've got a great idea. Can we add the uh, la Binga to the fireworks hammer? Oh, that's good. And add like a response some, to some, it? Right, we'll just ask the Facebook group. So group. So that's Facebook group. Someone put, take that video of the. Literally, Dorina can do it. I could just say it and you can make a sound bite out of it. No, no, I want to take the actual audio itself. Sorry. Place, yeah. And place because it I'm over. I'm just saying it'd be better if I did it. Because that guy's in your mind. Uh, in your mind, it would. That Everything's better. Say, yeah. say it in Spanish again. <laughs> oh, yo me cago en la pinga. It sounds better. Oh, yo me cago en la pinga. That's my point. It's like, you know. Oh, do you want me to do it like him? Oh, yo me cago en la pinga. No, that's not how he did it. He went, ah, my God. He went, he went, he went into a different octave. Wait, yeah. now yeah. you're trying to Spanish explain me? Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Man Spanish. 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 Man yeah. Spanish. Yeah. Spanish. All right. So Doreen actually showed me something to uh, beforehand. This is actually really funny because it, it. Oh, I feel bad. She tried to show me like 15 times. Oh, yeah. so I know. Now you get to see Here, it. Go back up. So this is. It says me. People who were sucking a dick when Thanos snapped, and there's this woman, and she's she's spitting dust out. <laughs> it's really good. That's Glozell, isn't it? Yeah. She's trying to do that the ginger challenge, yeah, turn, right? Turn, see, I think we're finding a, a soundbite gold mine today. Turn this up for a second. This, this the actual clip. <laughs> Here, let me hear this. Let me see. Wait, Hold on. She's like a famous YouTuber. Well, not anymore. Well, maybe more. No, she's so. still very yeah. famous. Uh, yeah. And they were all trying that ginger or nutmeg challenge. Oh, uh, like, cinnamon. Do it. And cinnamon. Oh yeah. Wait, let me let me get this straight. Sure. Is she trying to claim that the entire person's body went into her mouth because the or the or the weenus or the, the dust or the, the, the penis weenus. would not have been that much dust? It might have been. It depends. Well, it was what Shaq. If, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What if it was like Hulk versus Peanut? Did yeah. he? No, he didn't die. Well, she wouldn't be blowing Hulk. Well, he'd be fighting. Uh, he's out fighting. That's true. Yeah. No, but like unless if, he's just like fuck it, <laughs> we're gonna true, die. I'm done. <laughs> Maybe that's where he was. Yeah. That's why he wouldn't Do come you out. Think that Hulk could die even if. He if uh, Hulk Bruce w oh. lives, like could could part of you snap away? It's a good question. Maybe that's... maybe just Hulk. Maybe he lost his dick. <laughs> that's, yeah, right. all, just, that's the only part there. that died. Dick, and that Hulk. woman. I would hundred percent. If I saw everybody disappear, I would hundred percent check everything. So check for of course. <laughs> See, now what disappeared and what didn't. Yeah. Here's yeah. a more like, interesting what? conversation: is is when when Hulk gets mad and like the gamma rays take on effect, wouldn't he just get a raging boner like that? Everything just grows. You you would think. I mean, you think. If so. you take HGH or but whatever you don't get a you're doing, when you're mad. Well, well, why couldn't he just, you know, well, if, when you put your body no, explodes? But That's here's true. a better question, though, too. Yeah. Okay. If he started to learn how to control it, why not just make Hulk dick? Yeah. Yeah, you know what, what I mean. mean like that's it. What do you, yeah. mean? What do you mean? Make Hulk dick. So when you become Hulk, he knows how to. You remember he, he learns how to control it. He gets right. angry, but if he could just do certain parts, like he can make his hand the because Hulk. Because that would literally rip you <sighs> apart. Like it's not. Oh. That wouldn't be fun to have sex with Hulk dick. Well, well, would, don't don't knock it till you try it. And especially yeah. like, imagine <laughs> it's, you, it's inside you and it's regular dick, and then he grows it into Hulk dick. Well, let's well just, you don't know. Depends <laughs> on the size of your and, vagina. And who it, right? We don't know. We don't know who it is. But we don't know who who you know. Also, too, is like, is this a, is what about the wizard from Harry Potter, that big lady? You know, oh, uh, uh, who is she? the one from the girl school. Um, yes, yeah, exactly. But that, that oh, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the the Hagrid's, Hagrid's girl, girl yeah, the whole, yeah. Uh, you know, the Bottown the, School for Girls, right? Yeah, 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 Make yeah. It the, the French whole, girl, yeah. school for whatever. Wow, they've got, they've <laughs> you got, got it, like dude, a whole porn section. Oh, yeah, like this. Go to Tumblr, Harry Potter, slash fic everywhere. Oh, look at you! Sherlock I don't even know. Harry Potter slash you better hope everywhere. you better hope you stay around for a while because I don't know what's on your hard drive. <laughs> I gotta tell you. <laughs> you want to see? 
yeah. I'll, I'll bring it and show you. You will you show us? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, um, that, that was one of the funnier things Jeremy Johns has ever told me when I was like, we were talking, it was on Josh McCougar's show. I was like, what do you want on your gravestone? And he just quickly said, erase my hard drive. <laughs> yeah, right, right, yeah, makes sense. Great. Okay, a uh, couple things to talk about here as we move on into some news. This was uh, originally, this is what we were going to lead with today, but then obviously the Toy Story dropped, and we'll talk about that a little bit more at length. Um, I wish that Riley, Riley's not here and neither is Roca, but so I mean, Alex, can you bring up the, the article of Lorenzo Di Bonaventura, who I actually like as a producer, but said some very uh, d- disturbing things when it comes to, n- not serious disturbing, but disturbing when it comes to tr- if Creatively you're a transformer disturbing. fandom. Now, I'm paraphrasing from what I, I heard more or less that they're going to go back into the sequel, to, they're going to do a sequel to, to Last Night. Uh, for another Michael Bay one, and then they're going to do more Bayisms to. They're going to add more Bayisms to Bumblebee, and like Carlin, I say, why? Leave it alone. If Bumblebee, just because Bumblebee didn't make as much money, it's because people were so burnt out on the last Transformers. Totally, it's like it was the best Transformers you ever made. Mm-hmm. Do get away from the Bayisms. Get away from that shit. Let Travis Knight do his thing. Here's here, this is what D. Bonaventura said. We are already working on two projects, and both have scripts under development. One is the latest in the main family series, following the events of Transformers The Last Night. Who cares? The movie sucked. And the other is a sequel to Bumblebee. So we are thinking of films where Optimus Prime and Bumblebee will be the buddies, but when Optimus and Bumblebee are are the movies of the protagonist, how human beings get involved in their drama in the first place. The size is dri- different between human beings and, and theirs. It's a worrying... It's a what? It's, it's a, worrying a worrying point. point. Okay, keep going down. Where's the Bayisms? I don't know. There was a question about Bayisms or something, though, too. Uh, where, wherever it is, uh, yeah, it's it's not there. But from where from the article that Riley was showing me yesterday is that uh, he's just he's because yeah, that didn't make me that, as worried. It didn't. It did, but that's yeah. not the article I was I was looking for. There was, it, there, there was one for uh, that uh, Riley. Riley might have included it. Trans, there you go. Transformers, go back up there. Transformers producer says Bumblebee follow-ups will have a little bit more bayhem. That's what that's. So let's go to the quotes here. I get it, like mayhem. Thank you. Like, Bay. like, yes, like right. Timothy Chalamet. All right, the audience mm-hmm. had asked us several times that's... in different ways. I want to get to know a Transformer better. We did that. That's true. Travis Knight did that in some respects. Definitely a tip to what the audience had said to us. The interesting part is when you set out to do something like that, you don't know the ramifications of it. In this case, the ramifications of it for the people who didn't love the movie, there wasn't enough action. Uh, that's the problem with studio heads, man. It was perfect. But yep. Because you're telling a more intimate story, therefore you can't. So the criticism we got from fans was like, hey, come on. It was funny. I was just in Japan, and one of the reporters to me said, I love the movie. I love this. I love that. And I was very tired of Michael Bay. I said, uh-huh. I've heard this before. And he goes, but you know, after watching this film, I've kind of wished it had more Michael Bay. I wish you never ran Who into that person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was yeah. really funny. I said, listen, Somebody I completely understand. I like what Michael Day does, too. Two different films, two different attempts. This person ruined all of our lives. Ruined it. It ruined it. Because the, <laughs> a the, little more Bayhem is like the worst thing you can do to a movie. Uh, yeah, oh, here we go. Wait, so, uh, just, uh, I, I, know, I like con- to continue, disagree with all of that. Uh, continuing back into this quote, <laughs> Lorenzo continues, and he says, several lessons have come out of this. One is that we have to have the freedom to tell almost any story. Uh, the other is that how... The, excuse me. The other is how strongly the audience is identified with the strength of the character and emotion. I know the next Transformer, our attempt anyway, is to do sort of a fusion of Bumblebee and the Bay movies. Gross. A little more Bayhem. Gross. And a little bit more of the character falling in love with the emotional dynamic of the movie. One of the things I want to do, and I hope we pull it off, is that we did it with Bumblebee because he's so cute and so accessible, but he can't talk. I think the more human we can make these characters, the more people are going to like them. I don't disagree with that. I agree with that, but I think the problem is, like, I don't. Yeah. One person said, like, people said there needs to be more action. Who are you talking to? Because right. are you and listening person, to everybody saying so that the movie was good? Movie. Movie. Uh, the, only, the only things that I consistently was hearing were John Cena. Nah. He was the worst. That was the yeah. only thing that, and obviously I saw it, and I didn't even dislike John Cena that much, but. If you're listening to any note, that was the one. Where are you? T- who are these people? The action. Who are enough. these people? No. <laughs> I mean, come What's on. What's the deal with these people? The Why do you need more Michael Bay? There's we an explosion. The There's wall. a hot bikini. I mean, come on. I think that Michael Bay is the greatest director to touch movies. In are, you making, I'm gonna go. yeah. are you making Joker wow. being serious? No, listen, I love he Michael loves Bay. Bay. No, I, I, I don't dislike Bay either, but are you making Joker being serious that he's the best director? No, I'm not saying. I'm just oh, saying okay. of all the Michael Bay movies, I've never disliked one. 
Yeah. I've never liked Did you one. see all the Transformers? Did you see all the yeah, Transformers? I didn't like hate them. I mean, they're fine. Yeah. Here's the thing. I don't... We're fighting giant robots. You can't win. You can't beat the robots. You got to have the other robots fight the other robots. But, but Humans even, can't beat them. But even the action in those movies is boring. Yeah. So it, boring. You, it's you can't so connect. bad. Yeah, you, because, can't, yes. it, you can't see anything. Because here's the difference with what Travis Knight did in that movie. It opened up. It's funny because I saw this movie with Ellis, and the, the movie starts off on Cybertron. And Ellis and I perked up on Same. our seats. And we're like, wait, what the hell? This is the movie we've been waiting mm-hmm. for for years. Yep. And it actually felt like I was watching the, the 80s cartoon to where it was like everything that I wanted to see. And it worked. And the battles, the only thing I didn't like about the movie, like you said, was John Cena. Because I felt like he was in a Michael Bay movie. Mm-hmm. I, I actually kind of felt like he was doing like a cheesy, cool yeah. 80s thing. And I, I didn't hate it. Yeah, I, didn't see, hate I just it. thought it was a different feel of what the rest of the movie did. Funny enough, Transformers uh, made in China. So mm. <laughs> Thank you. Originated. Originated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Let but me ask you this, though. Okay, so China. what you're getting at, what you're upset is that they want to do more Bayisms, right? And I don't know how much did Bumblebee make. I'm sure it made its money back. It, it, yeah, it did. It did. That's it, probably where it stems from. Is that because all these movies with Bay did very good, but the problem mm-hmm. was people started to get sick of them. Yeah, and people started. It's the same shit. Like the last one was atrocious. The the stuff with Stanley Tucci in the beginning is Merlin cracking jokes. It was awful. And it's and fans finally said, all right, I'm even the ones who liked it. I'm getting sick of this. Yeah, that was a little weird. Yeah, then they and then they give it to Travis Knight. He changes. It, but people were so still sick and had the taste of Michael Bay, they're like, eh, I'm not going to go see that and, movie. And didn't do as well. And you really want to open up against Spider Verse, Aquaman, mm-hmm. and Mary Poppins? Right. Yeah. Well, what did it do? Can yeah. you bring up Bumblebee? What did it do worldwide? And also, the, we talked about it last night. It's called Bumblebee. It wasn't called Transformers. Right. Correct. The yep. Bumblebee you're or right. something like that. No, you're right. And so, of the casual fans, like, oh, right. Bumblebee, so, it's probably some indie film with L. Fanning yeah. as a Bumblebee. Bumblebee did. <laughs> not that so, far off. Can you bring it up, the, though? It's, the cast. Thanks. So worldwide, happen. worldwide, it made four hundred fifty-nine uh, million dollars okay. worldwide, and it cost one hundred thirty-five million to make. So it still did well. It did well, but Not it as didn't well as it could bring have. up the last night, please, because domestically it only made one hundred twenty-seven. That's probably where they but worldwide. I mean, like six hundred eighty billion. Correct. So uh, the Transformers, the last night, which is the last Michael Bay shit piece, and that one did six oh five. Yeah, it did six oh five. It's because it was called Transformers. Who are these people? Transform- going to see who are these the people going to see Shady Transformers movies? I don't understand. And there's a lot the of movies two hours and thirty minutes. That's a long time. It's it's terrible. That movie is terrible. Two twenty nine. It's <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Round it out. <laughs> two twenty nine. Sp- <laughs> spoken like a true fascist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fascism again yeah. originated. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I, I mean, I just I. Can Michael Bay just get back to doing like a regular action movie? I don't exactly. want to see him Why? do any more Transformers movies. Why is he movies? so obsessed with it? Is it just because he has to have a producer credit? Like, yeah, I, but, yeah. but but he doesn't need to just be a just be an executive producer, and make money. Just He's, just let people be creative and do I a better movie than you can. Michael dumpster Bay is full doing of tr- a, a dumpster full of money. Michael Bay is doing is laughing straight to the bank. Yeah, he's doing yeah. exactly what he should be doing, which is no. just making. But you can all still make money, money without mm-hmm. having to. Have so much creative but, input, right? Though. But he, but that's just that's just who he is. Yeah, but that's and, just like narcissism. I mean, just no shit. Yeah, yeah but, but but look, he he's made, and you can understand again from the business point of view with Lawrence of Di Bonaventura, to where the last movie that they put out, they put out the last night, it does six hundred and five million worldwide, and that's like one hundred and fifty million more than Bumblebee did. And that, by the way, the Transformers the last night was significantly less than the last ones too, and that's still right. a lot of money. Yeah. So. You know, you look and you go, well, we should put Michael Bay back in it, but you you don't. This is the thing that executives do wrong all the time. It's the word of mouth with Bumblebee with fans was so positive that if you put that thing into, you start to take the serious road that you did and give it the heart that people were looking for for a long time, see that? it'll start to build again. You got to trust in the franchise. You got to trust in the creative and not just go back to the simple bullshit of let's blow things up. Let's be confusing. Let's have sh- the- Michael Bay also. The problem with Michael Bay, m- this does not count for bad boys because Will Smith and Martin Lawrence drive the comedy in that. He does not. His his comedy telling is so bad. It's not great. He thinks he's so funny and no one tells him you are not funny you do not know how to sh- shoot comedy <laughs> you are not funny all his stuff just lands like a, a, his, a, his, just like that his best non Martin Lawrence uh, you know Will Smith movie is The Rock and there isn't one piece of comedy in The Rock really I mean, again, I think that Nicolas Cage does some pretty good comedy sure. stuff that, that works, but it's unintentional. Yeah, Nicolas it's, Cage comedy. But Nicolas right. Cage is just oh, hey, come on, he's guys. The best. Did you? Yeah. I haven't told the story on on here yet. I told What'd it on do? the afternoons, and uh, to, on stage, oh, I told right. it too. Right. 
You were on Nicolas Cage? No, I was on the same private flight as Nicolas Cage. Nice. On Tuesday <laughs> night. How much hair? So, uh, he had a cowboy hat on, okay. so I didn't see it. But I feel like he has incredible Hulk hair. Uh, on this Tuesday? This past Tuesday. Why were you on a private flight? So it, we, it weirdly, JetBlue has this sister airline called JetSuite X, and mm-hmm. WG in America booked me on JetBlue, but then that flight got canceled. They pushed me to JetSuite X. It's right. like it's ridiculous. It's it's neat. It's basically at the Burbank Airport. It was, it's a oh, funny story. Oh, this is why you were in Vegas. This is why I was in Vegas. Oh. Yeah. And so I get on the plane, and I had this like Instagram model behind me who just the whole time was like, "Do you have champagne? No." Uh. <laughs> like she had this this weird vocal fry. I hate that Instagram model is like a thing. Yeah, yeah. But she, so she complained like nine different times. But so I'm listening to her order, and this like Hulk. He's a big guy. Like Nicholas Cage is a pretty big guy. He comes on the plane. He's wearing black. Pants, a black snakeskin blazer, a shirt, and a black snakeskin hat. He was hat. cosplaying as Dorina. Correct. Right. And then he had those like shooting aviators on that aren't sunglasses, but yeah, just like that. And I'm going to Vegas. <laughs> like uh, Nicolas Cage, synonymous with Vegas, yeah. leaving Las Vegas, honeymoon in Vegas, Con Air, all that stuff, right? Did you blurt anything out? Well, I like I, I kind of got cries. Like uh, I, I got so starstruck real quick. It's free. It's Nicolas Cage was like right here. <gasps> oh no! So we get off the plane, and I went up to him. I was like, Hey, Mr. Cage, just real quick. I was uh, I was very good friends with John Schnapp. And I just wanted to say, you know, like, really love that documentary and what you were able to do. And after he passed, you know, yada, yada, yada. And he goes, oh, my God, yeah, John Schnepp was the best. And he gave me a hug. Oh, that's uh, awesome. It was pretty cool. And then and then I was thinking, maybe he's going to invite me to his private car and he could drop me in my hotel. Mm-hmm. No, he just walked right in his car. So, of course. Yeah, well, he gave you a hug. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That's yeah. awesome. That's that's cool. really Come cool. here, give me a hug. Yeah. And he had a great year. You guys haven't seen Mandy, but Spider-Verse as well. Yeah. yeah. So. Spider-Noir. Yeah. All right, so if I was only going to watch one movie, Mandy or The Thing, <laughs> which one? Fuck. The thing. But you're not going to watch The Thing, so just watch Mandy. What do you mean I'm not going to watch The Thing? You're not going to watch The Thing. How do you know that? Because you've already made it your goal to not watch <laughs> The Thing. Inside your head, that's what you believe. Be real. Yes? Be real. You're not going to watch it. <laughs> Why do you say that? I thought you were on my side. I am on your side with yeah. the fact that you're not going to watch it. I, who said that? <laughs> you. I never said that. You said... If I got my wife on the phone and I asked her how many times I've pitched, pitched to her... You I know, but that's the thing. That what? is, uh, pun intended, hey, the yo. thing. Yeah. She's, you're not going to watch a movie without her, and she's not going to watch it with you. And so, you, I mean, maybe when your kids are 18. So you we got watch you, it? Nathan and I got you tickets to go see it by your house, and you didn't go. It was by my house. It was Arclight. No, it, at Culver City. No, oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's your fault. Yeah, but you don't think I'll ever watch it. Ever, I'm saying yeah, it's your fault. Ever, yes. Like I said, you know, your kids will grow up at some point. Yeah, maybe right. when you're, like, retired and we're all dead. Then you'll watch it. Well, that's Maybe true. when that's I die, already. you'll watch it and be like, oh, yeah. okay, I'll watch it in honor of Dorina. And then you'll cry and be like, it was the best movie ever, and I never got to tell her because she died. I would just watch Wizard of Oz. Why are you the, dying the, the, so much the, before the, Christmas? Dorina, the... Oh, yeah. the She's licking too many toilets. God damn it, I couldn't get the joke <laughs> out. Uh, sorry, I was that's trying over to make now, my joke. The, oh. thing, the thing to me, I, I thought I would be way more scared of the thing. I'm still, like, confused by the thing. The like, thing is confusing. Quiet now. Okay, never, good. Never seen it, if you guys don't know. So oh, yeah. Don't spoil it's just it. confusing. You've never seen the thing? But, it, never but seen it's it. good. Like, I, uh, yeah, it's good. What do you yeah. mean, yeah? It's yeah, great. It's, it's, it's good. You've seen it, Roxanne. I've never seen the thing. The only, yeah. I'll okay. tell you, there's one person. I'll tell you, this whole time this, this, that this thing's been going on with the thing mm-hmm. for a long time. Like, I, You know, JT bought it for me for my birthday. It's yeah. been sitting on my shelf. But there's one person... That out of so many people have, over the years have told me I had to see it and, and tried to convince me can to I, see it. Can I just tell you? Yes. You don't have to say it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Josh, shut up. No, wait. There's one person. There was one person that said to me, before anything else, you need to see this. And I went, well, if that person says it, then. And, and because that person said it, I started pitching it a lot more. Can you guess who that person is? Drew McQueenie. Comster? No, Comster. Drew hey. McQueenie. Oh, he's the no. one who's always telling you it. Wow. Uh, okay. Perry. No. See if any guys can get it. Hey, Dur- Alex. Not Haley Alex. Fouch? Not Haley Fouch. Lucky Frank. Not Roca. Not Frank. <laughs> Are Did they, they work here? No, but they've been on the show. Last Steve Renacisi? No. What? Holy no. Shit. Not Holy Samantha. shit. Not Samantha. Not Samantha. All right, I'll give it to you. Clark. Not Clark. Damn. Matt Sarah. Oh. When Matt Sarah uh, said why, it. Well, I why do you that. trust him and not the rest of us? Because he's a professional UFC fighter. You're right. Uh, no, <laughs> well, no what because that it, it, was the way, it was the way that he pitched it. It was the way that he said it because he's such a big like, comic well, book. Clearly science. not good enough since you still haven't seen it. <laughs> well, right. But you I don't listen to. But, uh, <laughs> but, like, but, she, but he had said something along the lines of the best, one of the best science fiction horror movies. The way that he said it. And I was like, all right, well, if the champ says it, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll check Have it out. Have you been like, texting? 
Not in a bit. No, I, I gotta I gotta check in with him because I because I don't want to text him until I've seen some of the Umbrella Academy and I haven't watched the damn thing. Oh, you thing. gotta watch. It. You yeah. know what? Uh, I can, I we can never tell you what the about? Umbrella Academy is. You don't like, like it either. Nah. Right. You know what we never talked about? Ralph's shopping no. at Ralph's at two in the morning, stoned out of your mind, eating uh, Rocky Road. Or did you do that? No, but it sounds delicious. I'm no, making up in my mind great. if I want to do it. Yeah. How about Take not me even next Rocky time. Road? I like chocolate and peanut butter. No, so the tonight dough. Oh, tonight, they don't even make dough. that anymore. That's mm. right. They don't make it anymore. I found it the other day. Where? You can still get it online. What's that, cookie dough? That's the it's best like ice cream in the world. It's more than that. What are you it's talking about? It's fudge. It's, cook- it's, it's Jimmy dough. Fallon's tonight dough. It's Ben oh. & Jerry's. Oh. It's cookie dough. It's brownies. It's peanut butter cookie dough. It's a heart it's all, Oh, my God. Yeah. It's the best ice yeah. cream in the world. Have you guys had Lucky Charms ice cream? No, no but that, that sounds thing? amazing. Really good. Uh, Hold on. What Hold I was, was going to say was that Matt Sarah knew my name. Oh, yes. That we never talked about how. Oh, that's what you wanted to talk about. Oh, was. I thought you would bring up something else. No, no. Oh, okay. that's all I was saying. That's it. We oh. didn't talk about it. Well, you brought it made you my put day. Some... And then I went and looked, and he follows me on social media, and I was not following him right. like a jackass. Well, now you are. So now I do. Jack no. fascist jackass. Yeah, you're fascist, fascist jackass. Jackasses, <laughs> jackasses <laughs> donkeys, actually, uh, first one born in China. All right. So like, here's the thing. Yeah. I would be no pun intended again. I would be. I'm way more terrified of what I have to do tonight. Tonight, than if so I sat down and watched the jealous. thing. Again. Oh, that's what you thought when I said tonight I dough. Thought. You yeah. thought I was talking millennial speak. Yes. I was literally saying dough like cookie dough. Right. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Well, tonight though. Yeah, tonight though. Tonight. I cannot believe you guys are all less horror fans than I am, and you're all going to see this come, movie before. If you had told me, I would have taken I? you. Oh, we can get you in. Okay. If you come had us. told me, I would have asked you. Okay. But well, you didn't tell but me because we're because we're friends ish, but not best friends. You're acquaintances. Your friends to the point where you can text me and I okay. would have taken you. Right. Let me ask you a question. Let me, let me throw a yeah, hypothetical wait, wait. Hold, out here. Hold, hold the thought. Okay, hold the thought. Because this is one of those things as, as far as the table goes because there is a plus one that someone will have that you do your thing. We'll get you in. Okay. You'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. So come with us because we're taking Makuga tonight. And don't don't forget the thought you had in your head. Mm-hmm. We're taking Makuga tonight. I am sitting nowhere near you. I almost think that do, do we have to sit near you? I almost think it's kind of funny if we just put them somewhere else. Do you, do you punch so, people as long as when I, you yeah. get scared? You're getting your food. You're as long as your, I get my Morton's dinner, I'll do whatever. When is Morton's food. happening? Not after the movie. I, th- I think it'll probably be the beginning, like, uh, beginning of April, like the first week of April. And is it him alone or you're going to Morton's with him? Oh, I would go with him, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, I, th- but, I, think, but I think what I want to maybe even do is just put him in, put him, like, you and I could sit in our normal seat and tell him to go sit over there and see if we can hear him from the other side. That might be amazing. Because admit, admit <laughs> why. So no, no, no. no. <laughs> admit it. Part of me, there's two parts of this. <laughs> Part of me really wants to, because I, when I saw The Nun with him, it was one of my, the movie was terrible, but it was a lot of fun to sit next to him to see how people were reacting to him and stuff too. But the part that you're talking about is with the nun, I didn't care. I really want to lock into us, and well, I want to see it's it. Supposed to be one of the best movies yeah. of the year. I know. I know. So I want to I want to put him like a landmine on yeah on the other side. I think so. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll but wait, 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 wait. What? Okay, <laughs> let me. <laughs> Now he has no support. Yeah, no. Correct. Oh uh, yeah, you want to. Well, there's two things. There's I'll two. Sit you next make to friends. You. With, you make friends with. You will. Yeah. Uh, oh oh yeah. I've never seen a scary movie with with Josh. I've been dying to see one. Okay. okay. Well, yeah. there you go. I want you. Perfect. On in a different room. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see, be laughing. You, you saw on Twitter though. yesterday. What? Collider. You'll be laughing Collider tweeted time. out. Should we send Josh to the us screening? And what was the what was the was, it, it, was it a tweet or was it a poll? It was a tweet. Is it hundred percent yes? No, it was there a was poll. like a ton of tweets and then a bunch of tweets that were like, not to the screening, he'll ruin it for the professionals. Go fart yourself. <laughs> but also Oh, the professionals are so worried about ingesting <laughs> us so I can talk about it. Like, oh my god, can you believe how scary the one part? Give me the can, farts are you from out Minnesota? Here. Can, I don't know. Can go can go fart yourself in your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Go How fart do you yourself. even fart yourself? In, in your, I mean, it's just farting, okay. really. It's really all that's kind of like wishing well on somebody, though. Because that's like a nat- I don't know. I'm, I've been pulling at it yeah, all it's day. A, it's like a fake face. <laughs> you, you know what I realized the other day? You have a fake face? Something that's not relevant to this. You know what we can <laughs> what? What Now you have to say it. You gotta it. say it now. <laughs> do you ever, so I noticed I'm starting to get some wrinkles on my forehead. Yeah. So I realized that if I wear my hair back tight enough, it kind of gives me Botox. 
Oh. All right, here's explain, all right, ex, <laughs> explain explain to me the Botox thing because here's 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 what I don't understand and I'm and I'm gonna come up and I'm and I'm already I'm preparing for the comments and I'm preparing for the tweets. I'm gonna come yeah. off ignorant here, I understand that, but I want you to Oh, I can give you all that. But I want you to talk me off the ignorant ledge mm-hmm. because here's my thoughts with women in general. Mm-hmm. Okay. What I do bo- you mean women? Get guys get Botox too. All right. Just but, give but, them a break for but, this but, one I'm, part. Who's running, running, who's running, running the Twitter right boy, now? Boy, boy. Because they just said glider video. Where should we seat Josh McCuga? <laughs> <laughs> Dorian, it takes freaking Dorian. Wait, wait, but let me let me ask this question. I want to ask this question because for me, it's a, and you're right, men do it also too. But but f- when you look at someone like a Meg Ryan and a lot of these actresses, Renee Zellweger, who ruin their faces, and my and and then Courtney you look Cox. at someone like Judy Dench who just ages naturally and she looks beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's like why I can tell you all the things. Yeah, I want to know. I want to know why in general. And you're right. Men and women do this. Why can't people just age naturally? Why do we have to ruin our faces to do it? I think that the I have never had anything done to my face um, ever, just to be honest. I would tell you guys if I had, I've never it's a pretty had pretty open-ended statement there, Roxy. I've never had any needles put in my face ever. Uh, But a ton of my friends do, and it makes them feel better. So that's cool. I actually hear it helps migraines and stuff like that. Yeah, but does it become an addiction? Yeah, I think it totally does. But but if you if you're somebody who is not comfortable with your own face, it's kind of the same as getting a nose job. Right. Like I don't think you look at somebody and you're like, why on earth would you get a nose job? If they don't like their nose and they want to change it, it's kind of like that. They want to make their lips bigger. They want to have less wrinkles. I think that that's what it comes down to me too, because I think that for me, it's like I I. I don't know, and I don't, I'm not trying to sound you don't like great those jobs. I don't. I just think that you know, it's it, that's your that's your. I understand why people do it, and I get it, and and I, I'm not going to make people feel bad for doing it. It's just like, that's who you are. That's what you were born with, and like you can, and and I think that, and I don't want to sound like a hippie here, but I think everybody could be is beautiful. Do, in do their you know own. what's yeah. crazy is that okay? So like, Aww. but you know you're what I'm beautiful, saying? Christian. But you know what I mean though. But it's just like you no. can get, like <laughs> the one here, thing, as much as I give yeah, my yeah. shit to my my mother. Aging gracefully does not exist in California. It's it, like a hard thing. That's what I was gonna say. That's why my mother in law. As much shit as I give her, right? She's a, she was a, a very, very beautiful woman when she, when she was younger too, and still, and, and as an old, she's in her like late seventies now, right? Never done a bit of work. Yeah. It just I mean, you know her hair, obviously. Same thing too. with my grandma, ninety one, never work. Have you I just, seen her? She just, I just ages, she ages naturally. I understand but, what you're asking. I just don't. I just don't care because I honestly, it's so common now that I just see it as wearing makeup. I just don't. I, yeah, you know, and if just, it makes you feel better, but, the, yeah. but, but to look go at back, look at Versace, look Christian, at her. to yeah. go back to, do you get addicted to it? You actually can't stop most of yeah. the time. Once you start, so in California, most people start in their late twenties, which right. is to me. You know, very early, you don't even know what your face is going to end up looking like right. before you start. But Isn't that's that scary. But if you're somebody who doesn't feel confident or comfortable with your face, you want to change it. That's your prerogative. Right. But then you can't stop because then your face melts. Yeah. Right. Like y- you, you're the that, that's filler. Cra- the that's, thing. that's what's crazy to me. So it's, it's like, not, why would you it's fuck not with even your like a physical like addiction. I, it's more of a like, like you're keeping it together. You have to put like your body needs it. But, but right. hearing you say that, isn't that fucking crazy? Why would to, you do that to your face? I, I can't guarantee that I would have the funds to continue to do that. Right. Like, how do you know that you're going to have yeah. the ten thousand dollars? Donna Calvert Ta- Ta- does have the funds, and she looks like the Catwoman. Yeah, like she doesn't look like. I mean, have you seen have you seen Renee Elliger and and Courtney Cox recently? It's really. That's what I'm rough. saying. But, but what if do they, they, they get done? Because they, so they get done gorgeous. a lot of stuff. Like I think that's... it's all like tight, pulled, tough. Okay, so that's I guess bigger. that's my question. Using those two ladies as an example, Eyes. right? Courtney Cox and, and Renee, Renee Zellweger. Zellweger. And Meg Ryan. But can And Meg Ryan. But can you imagine? Type in Renee Zellweger. Uh, plastic surgery. Plastic surgery, yeah. And can you imagine like just... Because Renee Zellweger is like forty five years old. No, I mean, you'll 50. see this. She look. She no, looks like she's... You always age people. How old is... She looks like she's 70 when you see this... This... uh. What she's been doing. She doesn't look too bad yet. No, go to the. Which one? Okay, that one right. Exactly right there. Click on that. The one on the left yeah. is what she ended up looking like like ten years ago. She was like forty years old maximum, right. and everything was just that was how her face was stuck. How old is Renee Zellweger? She can't be fifty. I think she's forty-five. But, oh look, her now she's plastic surgery out of the plastic surgery, Good. and she looks better. Well, you know who did that? You know who did that? Was was she was uh, born in nineteen sixty-nine, so she's. Going to be fifty. Wow. Okay. So, so uh, Nicole Kidman was going down the Meg Ryan path, and just mm-hmm. whatever she did, she stopped. Whatever. Well, what does J Lo yeah. do? 
Whatever J Lo's doing for J Lo, she, 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 I, she definitely gets work done. But she whatever I gets it to really whatever podcast, she's doing, follow her. I yeah. listened to a whole podcast on yeah, this what recently. Is it? She says what I do is take bomb care of myself. I never there has not been a night in decades where I haven't slept less than eight hours. I put all the cream on. I t- spend hours and hours on my regimen. Crazy. So like she, Cindy Crawford comes and says the same thing. Yeah. It's it's. Uh, I mean, I know oh, when I first problem. moved to L.A. I know. Well, it's also I, money. Yeah, it's yeah, I mean, of course. The it's expensive a lot of maintenance, right. yeah. Yeah. Well, but, but the same with my money, though, but the, so, the same people who are spending that money to do this type of stuff is doing the, the, the bad stuff as well, too. Yeah. So that's why, I don't know. I just, what were you going to say? I was, well, I was dating a girl when I first moved to L.A. She was like, you know, 22, 23. We were dating. She's a beautiful Peruvian girl, and she got her lips done at like 23, yeah. And I was like, "That's when a lot of people what, start. you had beautiful lips before." Right. I was kind of confused by it, and since then, I've seen her like, and she's just gotten more and more and more work done. And I, there's nothing again. If that's what makes you happy and that's what you do, fine. But it definitely changes the way you look. I think it ages you in my eyeballs yeah. and, and how I see it. And it, she does not look like the same person. And and what I think when I see a lot of it too is like. What did you think that you look like before and what do you think you look like now as opposed to what do you think people saw you like before and what do you think people right. see you like now? No, you're now? right. It has a lot to do with perception. But people think, but no. people think I got my lips feel. done. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Mm, people think I, I got my I, lips done. I wouldn't see that. No, you can tell see. you don't because you can always tell when There's you a, still have those lines. Uh-huh. Yeah. You didn't get them done because they're not like bursting. It's just yeah. your face. Uh, I I think that it's less about what do you think people think you look like and more about how do you feel. Yeah. Right. Because a lot of women, are, especially because it's all we see on TV with the Vanderpump Rules kids and the yes. Kardashians and all of that, my I have really small lips. I've always had really thin lips. And what society tells me today is that's not hot. So what you, what you so think it's is... In, and it goes in your head. What you head. think is, yes. okay, what, yeah, is, what is a hot face? All right, somebody with big lips. So then, then the person who isn't me thinks, so I should get bigger lips. Why not? But you can't stop getting bigger lips right. because then they look deflated. They, yeah. And right. that's something that they Oof. don't exactly tell you Angelina when you go Jolie there. did that, right? No, I yeah. think... No, those are natural? Um, I don't a, fucking know me. What do I know about A lot that? of them are trying to now deflate them and you have to like... <laughs> Have sur- like <laughs> surgery to because if you think about it, it's like stretched skin, like fat yeah. bastard, right? You know, like with, with all cr- of it's that. It's the people right. that put the gauges in their ears and they get those big ear holes. You nice. know what I mean? I want I once dated a girl who never laughed and never smiled, and then that didn't last long. Was it we, me? We, we, yes, <laughs> right. you laugh and smile Look all at the you. time, <laughs> but you. <laughs> Don't put it out. You know this story. Know. You know this okay. story. We, I took her to see a Muppets movie, and she said, what are the Muppets? Oh, right. Right? Oh, so she see it. So, and she said, wow, wow you, really smile, uh, you really smile and laugh a lot. You must be worried about your smile lines. And I said, what are smile okay. lines? Oh. And then I like did a research. It was like you get. It's like the crow's feet. I smile a lot. I've got smile lines. It is what it is. I'm not gonna stop smiling. I like. I that, don't. I don't. Yeah. Care. No, that's a real thing that a lot of people are concerned about. She'll and, like, never when go I was, to comedy When I was a kid, that. my grandma told me, you know, you can't drink from a straw and you can't smile that much. Because as a woman, that's not attractive when you're Jeez. older. Like that's but something that, that but was. But that's what's so sad is we all get conditioned for right, that. Right. That's something like, that was told to me as a child. We, we, we have, were we were all told that yeah. in, in some way, especially women. That's what's right sucks because of sm- the, with the kissing yeah, right. and the and the sipping out of things. We got like a lot that. out of this too. And I'm glad we did. I some I have to derail this conversation totally. because I just thought of something. I'm wanting to ask you for like oh my God. two weeks, and I just re- reminded myself by. So you get lost all the time. We know this. Facts. Okay. You told me on our one-on-one yeah. that you were in Italy. And, oh, yeah, I heard you talking about this in the show. And so your your grandmother, to you, what you said, she kind of neglected you, you are pissed off well, about re- it, and you had to go wander around Italy by Remember, yourself. Remember, I met those two girls that were 16. And they and they knew where, the, where to go. Beep, beep, bop, they would come pick me up at my hotel. But I had, you had no clue where you were. When I went back to Italy, yeah. and keep in mind, when I was with my grandma, when I was in Italy, I was there for a month. So something should have retained. Right. When I went back to Italy a few years later, it was like I was in, I had okay. never been so there. You, 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 you had stuff. no idea. No, these okay, two girls like literally dragged me by the, and I went wherever these 16-year-olds okay. So were they going. could have taken you off a cliff and you would have walked right over. Wherever. Okay, I, I told you, they took me to the flamethrower people. Right. I had no idea where I was. So you had no idea. Okay, no. all right. Well, there you go. That makes sense. Yeah. That, that, then it all makes I, sense. I never... Ever would have made it back myself. Okay. Just right. to be clear, so those like, girls were your were your your Thomas guide at the time. Hundred percent. You were probably in Testaccio, right. where um, all the clubs are. Okay, so to, to answer all Maybe. the questions of uh, an hour and thirty minutes, and then we talk about Toy Story. All right, here we go, Toy Story. <laughs> clickbait, clickbait, clickbait. Toy Jerk Story, Toy Story Four. The trailer came out kind of out of nowhere this morning, right? I didn't know it was coming. And um, is Roka? Hey, hey, Alex, 
double check if uh, if Roka's back from his wrestling stint. I want to see if uh, he can come in and, and talk I about think Toy he's Story. On Heroes, right? Isn't Heroes on Tuesday now? No, That's Wednesdays, right? right? Oh, they I moved. think it they is Tuesday, Tuesday because because Amy Amy was was in. So yeah. just double check if he's available. If he's if he's able to come in, is that him? Someone see my name? What a girl! Oh, he's Did here. you hear us? Come in, come in. Where are you going? What a girl! Where would he go? He's going to get a mic. What oh. what just happened? Uh, he needs a mic. So from China. Yeah, he's got. Well, I want to get I want to get all points of view on this trailer. We haven't talked about the trailer yet, John. So we're guys watch it yet. We yeah. all watched okay, it, yeah, cool. yeah, so we're going to talk about it. Okay, so the, the trailer for Toy Story 4 dropped earlier this morning, um, and we all watched it. My thoughts on the trailer was that it looks very familiar, obviously. I think that we've seen we've seen them do this before. Like, there's a new toy. They One of them gets lost or gets away. Woody's got to go find them. They, they, it's like a mixture of all the movies together, because then they go to this other ca- compound that they have to kind of free, or they have those other toys that are kind of chasing after them. Who are they looking for? Forky? They're looking for this new Spoonie or something, which I, which I really spork, spork, uh, spork yeah, which spork. I which I really liked the I really liked the fact that that the, the Bonnie, the new kid, w- was able to make uh, this toy and it comes to life and it's just kind of like this mess. <laughs> I, I think it's going to be funny. I don't know who voices the character, but Tony Hale. Okay, so then we get to, uh, and then it looks like though, and from a lot of people speculating that when Woody gets to this new land, that he's going to stay there this time. And I think that's the only end, to be honest. Yeah. And I think it's going to kind of heartbreak, heartbreaking. I think I actually really did enjoy the trailer, and I was okay w- with them doing a mixture of all three movies put together because we've seen, like I said, we've seen it before. But if the jokes are fresh and we have some new spins on it and it ends differently than the last i'll be okay with it but Dorina, did you did you like it i really liked it and i think it's mainly because every sequel that they came up with i was surprised at how much i enjoyed it right like w- regardless of what the story was every sequel has been a great movie and i think they can pull it off again and i think in general what what i think the whole toy story franchise has done is that to kind of make people realize that change is a thing that's always going to happen yeah. right and and you saw the the themes of of uh humans or in this case toys people going through change in their lives and either welcoming new characters into your life or or just losing people right that that are no longer going to be in your life for, right. for a while and you're going to go on this new adventure and i think that's what the franchise is about and, and that's what this movie seems to be about and also they played the god only knows that's right way to yeah. fuck me up oh. <laughs> yes yeah. rocks it's one of the only trilogies as of this point that doesn't have a clear-cut unanimous favorite and I think that some people are obsessed with the first one. Some people third. are obsessed with the third and one. And the second. And yeah. the second. Yeah. You, it depends on who you talk to. So I think when a franchise does that, which actually this might be the first time that's ever been, you have to just STFU and be like, whatever they do, I'm trusting mm-hmm. because they've done such an incredible job. So, yes, there were some similar tropes in this. Uh, and, yes, it it was reminiscent of the other movies. Also kind of a lot of Lego vibes in there for me. But – I'm in. I'm in. I love this franchise. I love mm-hmm. them. Did you see it yet? I have not watched right. it yet. Well, then, so. then I'm going to... So totally fine. You guys can do whatever you want. I'll watch it after the show. Okay. It's not a big... You guys... Yeah, it's totally good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Is yeah, it fine? <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do want to... Well, the reason I, I mean, was going to go... you're not spoiling anything. No, I, mean, I feel like you would love it. The reason I want... Because John, you had a different... I live for Toy Story, so... John, you had a different point of view. Yeah, I, I didn't, didn't like, like it. it. No. I didn't like it. I haven't liked anything they've released about it since the change in the animation. You thought it was unnecessary to make, correct? Yeah, I didn't know. It was, as Roxy said, those first three are just so fantastic. Just end there, and you're given to a new kid to start a whole new thing. Why is the kid now, like, almost a forgotten part of the trailer? She's mentioned, but she's really not a big part of the trailer. Kids, was, it's this forky it. thing. It's this forky thing, or whatever. And he it is. was hardly in the other ones too, though. He was in it. But the connection hilarious. to yeah. the connection to it all, I, and you know, I saw the Key and Peele thing they released a few a couple weeks or a few weeks ago. I didn't like that either. There's something about the the vibe of this one feels like we're gonna try to repeat. We're gonna try to capture it again, and it doesn't feel like it. You know, like sometimes you you go out with someone for a while and then you break and then sometimes you get back together and it's like it doesn't work no matter how many times you know what I'm saying you're like ah just is something missing we couldn't so it feels like the magic will be yeah there. I don't think the magic will be there and I, it feels that way with this one that I just don't I didn't sense the magic and I haven't sensed the magic yet I do like the Keanu Reeves is involved in this what is he what he's is, playing the the stunt guy that you see quickly okay. in in the trailer uh, Timothy Dalton's in uh, part of this and so there's a lot of great voices a part of it so are you I, a big Keanu Reeves fan or why yeah, do you I love like Keanu. that he's okay yeah I love Keanu so uh, you know. And I, I, I just wanted something. Canary is born in China, by the way. Born in China, <laughs> originally. <laughs> originally. Yeah. Has done a few Actually, Chinese made. movies. <laughs> he was 
Because he's a vampire. Yeah. No. Um, but <laughs> overall, I just I just didn't feel the magic that I wanted to feel like I felt with the Trails of the Three. And I can't explain. And like what you said, like, oh, this is where Woody will end up. Well, Andy gave Woody to Bonnie, uh, yeah. to Bonnie so that, she, you know, they could uh, grow together. Now he's going to leave her because Bo Peep. And Ash brought something that was interesting. And maybe she was joking, but she said, what if Bo Peep turns out to be the villain? It's possible, and it's like a different and, Bo Peep. And it's a different Bo Peep. It's not and the then Bo it turns Peep into remember. a horror movie. Cause, yeah. Well, because they made awesome. a big deal that this is a more, you know, you like empowered Bo Peep. Yeah. And it's like, what if the empowered Bo Peep becomes a villain? Roka, would you What's like that? What's the sign? Huh? Do you want that? If she becomes the villain? I felt that vibe when I was watching it, so I wouldn't be surprised if it happened. But, but do you what like I, that? Do you like that? Twist? No, because I like Bo Peep a lot. Okay. And, yeah. and I like Dan, what Annie Potts has done with her when she voices her. It's interesting. Uh, I don't know yet. I got to see I gotta see how it all plays out. Uh, I like the trailer. I liked mm. And I, I was never, but I was never on, there were a lot of people that were in Roka's camp in the beginning when this thing was yeah. announced that did that thought it was a perfect ending. I think Copster was on that road, too, to where it was a perfect ending, let the three movies go I said if you can you've told the first three pretty well if you're confident then you can tell the fourth I'm with you until you burn me until you burn mm -hmm. me like yeah. so it's not one of these things where like I understand where people are, are kind of pure with him but please don't mess it up because what happens if we get crystal skull now you know it's like, that's I, my fear I get it and, and I, forky doesn't do a I damn think, thing to make me excited for I don't think it'll I don't go that think route it's ever gonna be like crystal I, skull I don't think it's gonna go that really. route either but you can understand the fear with yeah, some yeah. of the people who just think it's the yeah. perfect three movies but why I was like that too though I I when they announced it I was like why right See, I'm, and see, I'm and the it opposite. actually in the trailers won me over. Yeah, see, I was the opposite with that. I was like, because of that, I, I said, show me a trailer, get me on board. I'm on board. If it does, and again, if it repeats some some beats, I trust you. Just show me. I'm sure there's going to be some new things in there, and I'm sure that there'll be because you have some new characters in there. There'll be some new lines of dialogue. There'll be some new jokes. If you can make it as fresh and as heartwarming as you have done in the past, and you feel it as a good bow to everything you set up in the previous three. I want to give you a shot, yeah. and I want to try. But I also respect John and everyone else's opinion who says, yeah, I wasn't excited that they were announcing this thing, and, and it looks too familiar to me, and I don't know where they're going to go with it, and I'm not on board. So, Do you think they knew when they wrote The Crystal Skull and they were like making it that it was that <laughs> shitty? Because it still hurts I me do, to this day. I do think at some point in the process they did know. <clears throat> they because had you to. Can, I don't think it was in pre-pro, right. but I think at some point during production they were like, uh-oh. Whoa. Yeah. Yep. I do. Right? Yeah. Yep. I do this question all the time. So, what do you think? What do you think is the higher Rotten Tomatoes score between Crystal Skull and Temple of Doom? And what would you guess those two numbers are? Oh, I'm sure Ooh. Crystal Skull is higher because Rotten Tomatoes sucks. Well, there you go. Wow. So, well, 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 I, well, I just uh, Temple of Doom's tough because who's going back in there to like rate Temple of Doom? Do you know what I'm saying? People have done it, but what, 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 what would you say if you were to I guess? I would probably say Crystal Skull. As the it. highest. And what would you say the, the two scores are? Like 40 and 36. You say 40 for Crystal Skull. Yeah. You say 36. Are okay. we talking about critic or audience? Critic. I, I think... Uh, so Josh says 40 for Skull and 36 for Doom. Okay, Roxy? Mm -hmm. 55 for Skull. 55 for Skull. And 43 like, for Doom. I've 43 never for Doom. Okay, Roka? Yeah. What do you say? Um, I think it's probably a way higher than you guys think for Crystal Skull. I think it's like 85% for Crystal oh, Skull. Okay. Okay. Farts out of here. I'm telling you. And okay. uh, maybe 70% for 70, Doom. Okay. And Dorina? 60, Crystal Skull, 50, Temple of Doom. All right. Please pull up. Let's start with Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom, Rotten Tomatoes. And let's see. So we'll see. Did you not guess? No, I'm pretty because I'm pretty sure I have an idea. Oh, yeah, 85. 85. No, oh, no, you didn't have that. Right? No, no, no. But I had it at 70, higher than anyone else. So had. this wow. is yes, it's 81 percent. Go back. Oh, sorry. Go back. Go back. Uh, don't, don't do crystal clear. 85. 85. So 85 was doomed. So yeah, Roka was the highest on that. Okay. So let's let's go to Crystal Skull here. Damn. I know it's. I mean, I 78. love 78. 78. Oh my yeah, which god! Is, which I knew is they were pretty high. Insanity to me. Yeah. Which is insanity. People me. love this series, this fran this series. Okay, let me just say this. I mean, the Star Wars things. prequels have super high scores too. Fifty fifty-three percent of the audience don't okay. Let me for, let yeah. me just. <laughs> no, he knows. So, we're still friends. <laughs> listen, I know people that like the prequels. I yeah. do. Oh, a lot of people like the prequels. Uh, yeah, and, um, including I like me. I enjoy yes. the prequels. Okay. The Your one generation thing, loves it. The mm -hmm. thing that I I've never met a human on this planet that has liked Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. I've never met that one. loves it. That like enjoyed it. I know some people who I, have enjoyed I do. it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just haven't it. met them. Is you what I'm saying. Them. But it, it's yeah. certainly. But your point. But yeah, it's not, but yeah, it's not as common. There's yeah. definitely yeah. more. Your point is yeah. valid. Yeah. Yeah. I had this conversation yesterday oh, when I was on Rule of Two. Is that and Fernandez had said it, and I agree completely. Is that there is a entire generation that 
the prequels were their Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's the, the way first they, thing they And they, they actually hate the new movies because they love the prequels Correct. so much. It's, and, it's very and, bizarre. And it's, well, it's, it, it, it is and it isn't when you think about it to where we grew up with the original trilogy yeah. and there was a backlash against the prequels from those people because that's what we grew up with and that was very different. So the pre- there, pe- people love the prequels, so you're not, you're not wrong. To be clear, I love the original trilogy. I like the prequels, but yeah. I don't like them better than the right. original trilogy. But you're trilogy not one of those people that loves the no, prequels but, but better than some the original trilogy. No, no, but that's just, that's just yeah. kind of a, the, yeah. the comparison between right. the two. But yes, there are people I who mean, love all of them. I mean, Jack here loves Jar Jar Binks. That's because so weird up, to because me. Because he grew yeah. up with them. I love, like, I love Anakin. I love well, Hayden Christensen. Yeah. My, my, daughter, my daughter right now, she's seven, Jar Jar Binks. she's seven years old. Her favorite movie right now is episode one because she 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 laughs she laughs at the at the jar jar she loves anakin are you hoping that changes i know it'll change <laughs> that's why i'm not worried what about it what if it, it doesn't and i know it will change because she laughs at, she laughs at the fact that he's he's a silly because there's so much again, wrong, there's so much but it, troubling things about that movie. but it was the other th- of course there's but there's other things that we talked about yesterday again on rule of two is that george lucas has said it and he never shied away from it he made those movies for kids he made those for children whether we like it or not he made the prequels for children. He made the originals for children. But he Wait, made the I, but I don't buy that though because the whole trade federation shit. Ain't no five year old getting that stuff. He, still that added was really, stuff, he added but, shit that was really complex. But, yes, but the but overall. You, you but don't the have overall, to understand the, all kids' movies have yes. this. You don't have to understand everything. Like some parts are for the parents. Yes, but the trade federation stuff is massively yeah, complex. I, I'm talking I mean, about the did overall. Did you guys see the, the, the Senate tone. stuff? And the, there was a whole police brutality on Paw Patrol a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> That show, man. She finally trained. No, I, I, I don't. I don't think that's warranted. I don't think that's warranted. There's a lot of things warranted, but not that one. Um, anyway, okay. Look, uh, good conversation. I think we should shift on over to. I'd like to hear from the fans if we can bring up the Facebook group. If there's a questionnaire in there, let's do that. If not, let's get some uh, questions from the twits. Hashtag Collider Live. We can do that. that. Call. Yeah, let's get some phone calls too. So Cody will let us know what the yeah um, when that's right. Don't show me that disgusting thing again. Ugh. It's really gross. Oh, do you know? Do you know your girl, the wrestlers back? At it, we don't have to show the clip, but you know the, the one. What'd who, she do? She's no, it's not the tampon one. Yeah, so the puke well, mouth? Th- she puked. What? Well, yeah, have you ever seen that before? So this, this wrestler, <laughs> you don't copy about it. This wrestler, she uh, the first time she, the she, she, she hit somebody in the face. She pulled the tampon out, hit and jammed it into someone's mouth. Like a mouth. used one? Yeah, and then the second one was that she vomited on someone at a bar, and then this ner- third one, this guy, I don't know what he did to her, but he's wrestling her, and then she threw up on his cock. Um, so here's the. Uh, we got he's, somebody. He's pinda. He's pinda. <laughs> All right. Hey, pinga. hey, you're in. Uh, La pinga. Let's start with a phone call. You're in Collider Live. Who do we got? Uh, it's Clay Williams again from Portland. What's up, buddy? What do you got for us today? Um, well, I kind of wanted. Uh, so you guys were talking about Botox, and I kind of wanted to uh, talk about it because I am 19 years old, but I have uh, severe migraines, very severe mm-hmm. migraines, mm-hmm. and I have done Botox treatments in the past. Mm-hmm. And I came from the same exact side of, well, I don't want it to fuck with my face. Right. I don't want that. I am, that's literally the worst thing possible. No, thank you. Um, but it helps. It, it has helped my migraines, which has been crazy. Um, Where do they inject the, it, though? They inject it in into your, your face, into the temple? Unfortunately, it's everywhere. Oh, uh, they, on your face. Uh, they do, I think, forty injections. Holy Jesus! Not your balls, though. They can't. Do, don't go near the balls. They don't do yeah. the balls, right? No, no, no. Does it work? No, just mm-hmm. just the face. Okay. Um, it it does work. Uh, it's it's very new. It's very kind of. A lot of neurologists are not sure about it with right. a lot of things because um, migraines are really the worst, and they just no one knows anything. Uh, but, but you Botox are the. Is, you're the reason they invented Botox, right. by the way. Like, there is a medical reason so Botox he, he's using, exists. He, he's using it for the reason it was intended right. for. Right, right, right. So, uh, exactly. I, I get it. I get it. And, and that, right. See, that, but my, my initial thing was not why it is Botox. Why is Botox a thing? My initial thing is why I just, and, and I think you described it perfectly before. I just, uh, I'm always want to see women and men just age uh, naturally, but yeah. but not everybody can do that. All right, let's. Thank you for the phone call. I appreciate it. Let's. Clay, I want, I'm going to go to the Facebook group um, and Josh Estes asked the best question that I've seen in probably two months. 
Who fixed the table? Um, <laughs> well, the table is not officially fixed. It's just Makuga took the leg that he broke. He MacGyvered it. And no. He MacGyvered it, and and because this thing was, it was ready to come down this morning. And so I'm gonna go. I, I have a drill in the in Studio B, and yep. there's a couple little screws that I took out of a thing that I'm like fixing around for a new show we're working on. I'm gonna drill the leg, and it'll be I fine. I told you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't want it fixed. No, it's, it's, our, it's our one way ticket out of here. Yeah, <laughs> well, I do want to take more, some, some more sure. questions. So, to group, and what people start to realize is that a lot of the movies and TV questions I kind of skip over a little bit because we just done we done so much mm. movie news. So I'm yeah. gonna keep going down, keep going down, keep going for Roke. Uh, what's that? No, it's yeah. more more stuff. You think you're laying on a Schmodown question? Uh, no, I don't want Schmodown. So I don't, I don't need that. But I want to see. Huh. Let's okay. So now, as far as a topic from yesterday or two days ago, alongside the same thought, are there words that some comedians can't use? For example, there's a word that Jay Washington can use on stage, but Josh McCuga can't use. Oh, Jesus. Thoughts. Chicago? No, I, I, think that's a, I think that's a question that, sh that should be asked. I, but think I think completely. Why? I'm, yes. I think that that's... Oh, well, my God. In, you can't use one word. I think in... What? I, I just don't get it. What do you mean? You don't agree well, with that? I, I don't get why... You know, Jay... Jay, Jay What's the word they're talking about? You the, know the word. The, at the N word? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jay's allowed to say it. That, well, yeah. That's what he's saying. I, I he's saying he, that Jay he, can say it. No, and why Josh can't Makuga? Yeah, but he, is he complaining? Why can't Makuga no, no, say it? No, 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 no. Saying, oh, no, 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 no. He's not. Because he's, he's I hear people all the time saying, well, if no, no, they say it, no, I should no, be able to say it. He's just the stupidest argument. He's just asking a question. Like, so I don't think anybody should say it. But. I know that I can't say it, right. and I don't want Wanna to. Say it. Yeah, yeah, right, <laughs> right. And, right. And furthermore, I don't want to. Yes. Right, yeah. And I, I think, well, that's a different. That's a much, a much longer conversation. But I, that to me, there's same thing. It's just, it's it's words. any derogatory yeah. word against another race or religion. I'm not going to use on stage, and I don't think many other comics would. Like, you're not going to hear a black comic say a, a racist thing against a Mexican comic per se, or a Mexican comic. I've say, heard it many times. I've, really? heard, I've heard comics many times use words that they should not use. Wow. Yeah, it try. I mean, yeah, it happened. I mean, it definitely happens. You, yeah, you guys part. have never heard that. Yeah, yeah I have. Yeah. I for sure have. Many I'm, times. I'm just saying because for me, they're on stage and it's a joke. And I think a lot of that is where uh, yesterday. <laughs> let me just open this door again because <laughs> we're not. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll close it fast. Fascist I wanna, queen. I want to get some phone calls. It's because we'll close of Roxy jokes here. that I have heard before, and that's why Christian was saying it, you have to be the right person. And these were obviously the not wrong. the right people, but yeah. it's like. Just because you're on stage doesn't mean you can just all of a sudden use all of the words right. that your society is like, you should not say that. Yeah. You don't have the right yeah. to, but now you're on stage, so why don't you try it? Yeah. Like, let's let's see. see how it goes. All right, let's uh, let's move on to, you got any phone calls, Code? Yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, anybody? Yeah. Uh, Come thank on, you so Stu. Much. Call in Stu. <laughs> you, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did we, get, did we get Stu on the phone? Do we have a, a, do we have a chance to get Stu, Stu Alex? Stu Tube. No. no. Oh, thanks, Alex. Why did you sound so depressed? No. You just, you can't, you just push no. Hey, you're uh, you're in Collider Live. Who do we got? Hey, my name's Justin. I'm calling from Denver, Colorado. What's oh, up, brother? Man? How you doing? Call back. Cool. What do you got for I'm us? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, I just wanted to start off by saying I am turning 30 this year, and I don't look a day over 50, so I'm happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's like Can Jeff Snyder. Yeah, Jeff Snyder disease. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. You made it. You made it 30 years. <laughs> Jeff Snyder looks 63, so you're good. But uh, I do. I do want to say something to you, Christian. I heard oh. you on the movie fights the other day. I thought you did great. Thank you. Um, but you you back down on the uh, the acid top. Yeah. <laughs> what was up with that? Um, so so what happened was they they, they asked these, the question was uh, if you could do one screen like one screening to where they have this uh, what's this the slut movie coming out that it's called uh, what's it, what's it what's Amber it? Rose's Slut Walk. No, there's a movie called out like Shameful Sluts or something. I don't know what it's what's, what's, what's this movie called. It's, 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 so, bring up bring up uh, the release it's, schedule for. It's called like Friendly Kid. No, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a slut movie. I forget what it's Toy called. Story Four. Whatever yeah. it's this weekend. What, whatever it's called. There's some movie coming out and it's. Um, I gotta find the name of this movie. Otherwise, the story doesn't work. Beach bum. Slut in a good way. No. The slut. Now go to go to uh, slut ever. Go to uh, <laughs> box Hot office. Slut. <laughs> Who knew box there were so office, many? Uh, excuse me. Upcoming releases. The numbers. Bring up upcoming releases. The numbers. Hashtag slut. No, just upcoming releases. The numbers. I'll tell you right now what the name of the, the thing is. And I'm gonna answer this guy's question because um, <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> woof. No. So keep going. Oh, zoom in now. Zoom in. 
Um, to kill a slut monkey. in a good way. Oh. So, slut in a good way is a movie that's coming out, and, and I'm so happy that just happened. Cruel intention. That I could find it. Yeah, thank goodness. Yeah, well, I just made it up the movie. But the, sl- the slut, the thing, slut you movie. Know. The slut, the slut in a good way is a movie. So basically, what they were going to do at uh, one of the Alamos, or whatever, is they were going to do a slut only screening. Is what they're so. So they said. So what they said in uh, movie finds was if you could do a movie that could be at particular screening to what movie for example you know like this type uh, drunks for uh, a brew movie or whatever it could be mm-hmm. so dan chose what what's wrong what are we looking at i'm just looking at like the, none of the actors have imdb pictures the woman's name who directed it is sophia lorraine this has to be a oh. porn thing right no it's not i don't know what it is but let's, but, but listen listen so because i want to get your take on this I'm, too I'm so i'm listening i'm just so we had so we had um Dan chose last the last Jedi screening with all the most hate, hated critics of uh, fans of Ryan Johnson at the screening oh. inside oh. watch and said it would be therapeutic and then Billy had uh, heavyweights which would be a, a, a <laughs> big people only screening right and That's I great. chose Inception but everybody was on acid okay um, why'd you back down I just bailed on it because I didn't have enough to where it's like I, I in the middle of the I, I should have went with it like to all the way to the end but I was like because to be honest also I was like I was bum- I was bummed in the fact because I, I thought I, I thought I had a lot of I thought I won a couple of them too but I just I also know the way sometimes that it goes and you, you, you when you lose you just you move on hoot hoot but I also when I was in there I was bummed that I was playing Dan right away I wanted. I, I, I wa- think I did that. I wanted her. I wanted to. I wanted to like build up to it. I, I was, and I guess I was the promoter in me. I'm like, why am I playing him first? I'm like, if I can win a couple, isn't it better? If I'm, if I'm, but it- also I remember I was listening to the show when you were talking about that, and I love because you referred to. Billy Patterson is Billy Batson, which no Billy Bats. <laughs> oh, I thought you called him Billy Batson, Billy which Bats. is the Shazam kid. No, 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 I called him Billy Bats, and but no, and I Billy was, Bats is the guy that kill him. Good but fellas. anyway, the reason I bailed on it is because I'm thinking I was like I didn't have any argument for it. Mm. I was like I was just kind of I was pulling you know my thoughts. Out of my hands. You know my thoughts on Inception. Yeah. If you add acid to it, I've just walked out and done something more entertaining. Because I love it. You don't like yeah. the movie? Oh, I can't stand I love it. But you imagine yeah. a Hans Zimmer score on yeah. tripping balls. I've like, done, done, done it too. But, Great. but yeah, but but anyway, so the answer, the answer, soundtrack and just get tripping off my balls as it is. I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know, no, I know. It's like you know, there was, and I actually, to be honest with you too, is that once I heard Billy kind of mo- moving into his argument about, I was just like, I, I kind of wanted him Did to he win. win? He, 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 yeah. yeah, and and because at that point it was. It was one to one. Dan had one, I had one, and Billy had nothing. And I was like, you know, I think it'd be more interesting. Also, and it wasn't one of the reason I bailed, but it, it would be more interesting if Billy got this point. Oh, and these as he started, speed rounds. This was a this real was just a, This was just a oh. question. And <laughs> as that question was going through, I said to myself, "Billy's got this." I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm done. So I was like, ah, I'm good. I don't want to argue for this anymore because I didn't have enough. So that that was the reason why. But I definitely thought I, I thought I had the fastbender one, and I thought I had something else too. But what was the fastbender one? It was just uh, if you who could play um, who could play Doctor Doom in the new Fantastic Four. But all right, thanks for the call, dude. Appreciate it. Okay, cool. we're getting the the red light here. So uh, it's the end of the show, everybody. I'd like to thank Darina for coming in. We're Ooh. gonna see you on Thursday. Yes. See you on Thursday. Roxy Stryer will be back tomorrow. McCooks. Uh, we have some guests from the movie The Dirt tomorrow, I believe. John. Roca stepping in for Riley, Cody and Alex in the booth. Get those tickets, Schmodown Live, free for all. 40 competitors, a couple tickets left, so go on over there to SchmodownLive.com. You can see all of us. I'll get to the bottom of this whether we will ever do a Collider Live on the road sooner or later. Uh, um, but yeah, follow the show on Apple Podcasts, subscribe here on YouTube, and we'll see you tomorrow.